Hey, you're here with your homeboys, Roy and Larry. <laughs> yeah, Roy. What's up, Larry? <laughs> yeah. How you doing tonight, Jerry? Rock and roll, man. Stoked to be here. Rock Glad to see roll. all these guys in the chat, man. They've been crushing it, going at it, calling out the vapes we're going to use tonight. I love these guys, man. They're fun. Lots of requests. I've seen lots of requests in the in the chat going already. I hope we don't disappoint. I think I think we got all the ones that people are looking for over here. Most of them, anyway. Right on. Let's see what uh, I wonder what mine looks like when I do that. I didn't I didn't set that up for an all nice and pretty. I might have to get off real quick. Ah, oh, that's not bad. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Wait, do it again. Wait, we'll go back to it and do this. Oh. That's actually a decent shot. Nice. You got. I see your Nomad in there, and I see your uh, P80, and I don't have either of my, I don't have my P80 or my Nomad. Do you have a Nomad? My Nomad 2 is almost finished. Okay. So it's not your fault. You couldn't have had it. That's why I was wondering, because I didn't think you had one yet. Yeah, it's been... It's been over a year and a half, I think. It's been it's been a while. I'm I'm yeah. still excited for it. I'm not I'm not anxious or upset, but I I do mentally recognize I, I mentally recognize that I've been waiting longer for my Nomad Two than I've been waiting for my Grasshopper IO. Neither of which have arrived, and they've both been like more than a year. Uh, but I'm upset about my Grasshopper. But on the Nomad too, I'm like it's okay because it's it's an artisan vape, right? Like it's it's not. Hey, fuck off with your grasshopper too, man. Like, it just showed up. Grasshopper. Like it just got here. Like you, you is, should is get that anodized. Anything. Yeah, it's it's green, which means it's barely anodized. <laughs> it's like the lightest olive green you'll ever see, man. I was like, damn it, I wanted like a striking badass green. Yeah, the other uh, website showed a striking badass green. This is not a striking badass green. This is a why did I wait so long green? That's what that is right there. Well, that's that's refreshing. That means mine's maybe in my mailbox or maybe on its way or yeah. knowing my grasshopper look. I probably got another three to six years to wait. I don't know. But, did you, but the, have you reached out to him about it? I actually reached out and wanted a refund and they said that they're about to ship it and that was like February 1st. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, I had harassed them every couple of months, not from an account that they would know who I am or anything. I was just like, I wanted to see what this ride is like. And um, I probably asked them. I got that answer three times in a row, three months apart each time. And this last time, sure as shit, within a week, it finally went out. So um, they've, they've started shipping them. You should get you should get them. That's good. Know. That's, that's good. Yeah. I mean, that, that's good news. Uh, but you made me bury the lead. Uh, the, the, the point was like, I'm, I'm upset. I was upset with grasshopper, but I'm not upset with Dan Morrison on the nomad. Mm -hmm. Like he, he is hand making every single part of a multi part convection vaporizer where I chose the woods that he will use. Like there, there is so much customization and so much, there's so many elements that he is putting into that vaporizer that no other human being in the world can do without mm -hmm. committing years of figuring it out. Like Dan Morrison is the only motherfucker that can make that vape. True. So like, I, I can't be that mad. Like I can't be like, Oh yeah, it's taking a year, but because he's, he's doing it. Grasshopper. I can be, I can be pissed off about because according to their website, they're still shipping April, 2019 or whatever yeah yeah they they didn't learn anything from the first go around and they keep doing the same shit but <clears throat> i thought about that earlier i'm glad you brought it up troy um all of these art artisan vapes that we've got tonight um are special they're all handmade like he said they're all they're all handcrafted they're unique and they're worth the wait and so uh some of them you can't get anymore some you can but the ones that you can, I hope we wet your whistle for them. But you need to understand that you, you need to get in line and wait and be patient. Like, like absolutely. Every one of these that we're going to show you that you can get, don't sweat the wait. I mean, I, I, I waited well over a year for, for, for my Nomad right here. Um, I waited well over a year for the Grasshopper. Um, there's wait lists out there for others. So 
um, it's it's worth it. It needs to be uh, it needs to be a purchase of love, and you need to be patient with it because these guys are working hard to get it to you. You know what I mean? So, yeah, I think I've been on the Nomad list for a, a number of years. I know I wasn't on it for a while just because I was uh, put off by it by the list. It's like, oh man, I really want that, but I don't want to wait in a big list. And then I caved and forgot about it. And then even when your name finally comes up, the waiting's not done. Mm-mm. Like when the, when your when your name comes up on that nomad list, it's, then it's just time to choose the woods, pay the bills, <laughs> that's right, and, and then you wait again, get patient again. <laughs> that can be the hardest thing too, man. But yeah, second, uh, second time is definitely harder than the first. You're right though, man. Like uh, these vapes here, uh, as I look at them, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's there's 10 vapes here that I remember just couldn't wait to get, like excited about getting the whole time I was waiting. You know what I mean? So uh, these are special vapes, man. It's not like when you go to some you know regular store and get regular vapes. These are these are fun and waiting in line is part of the story you get to tell and part of the excitement and, and and the process that you went through picking those woods and picking the colors and all that. You know what I mean? It makes it makes it great. So I hope you guys enjoy uh, looking at these and hearing about them as much as we do. Um, you know, Troy and have Troy and I have some of the biggest collections overall around. I know plenty of people who have v- more vast artisan vapes than I do, and uh, so um, if that happens to be any of you guys, man, and you've got stuff that we didn't bring up that you want to chime in about, or if there's any way uh, we could see your vape someday, I'd love to because uh, I know that every now and then I get a glimpse at some of y'all's collections of special wood vapes, and it's, they're gorgeous. <laughs> Yeah, for real. Uh, if you want to tag us on Instagram or if you want yeah. to send us photos of your collection or your rare pieces or something that you've made, or if you have a favorite maker and they are not on our list, uh, by the way, this if you go to TroyandJerry.com and look at uh, the the post for, for this this stream, there's a, a list of all the makers. And we're trying to make it a, a big, complete, robust list. We want to we wanna showcase all of the makers and all of the artisans in the space, whether you're making Dynavap stems, whether you're making accessories, whether you're making vapes, if you got something new, if you got something old, we don't care. We're, we're trying to spread the love and, and really, really showcase all of the artisans, all of the makers in the space. So help us out. I, I tried to find as many as I could put them on that list, but I know there's more. Like sometimes I'm, I'm scrolling through Instagram and like, holy shit, like, like this stem is, is badass, right? I see them on Facebook and like the, the Dynaverse Facebook group has a, has a bunch of makers. People, met, people out there making really cool stuff. And because a lot of these makers have full-time jobs, they can only make 10 or 12 stems a year, or maybe 20 stems a year. They're not going to get super popular and, and showcased, but I still want to get them on this list because, man, that type of art deserves respect because it's it's an art of passion, you know? Absolutely. I'm glad you brought that up because, I mean, uh, helping out these smaller manufacturers has been honestly – the, my favorite thing that I've done in the last 12 years. And so, um, yeah, basically the list we have up on the site is pretty much what we're going to show you tonight um, with maybe a couple of few exceptions that Troy thought of. Um, but yeah, there, so, so if there's plenty of stuff out there that isn't on the list. Holler, you know, we want to get you up there with a link or something, whether it's uh, like, I mean, I think I only put Simrel because those are the stems that I have. I don't have a fat piggy stem. I don't have, a, you know, some of those others, but we want to get those links up there for you. So like Troy said, holler, we'll get that up there. We want a big list of you guys. Fat Fat Piggy is one of the ones on my my high up on my want list. Nice. Yet I when as I was going through earlier trying to rattle them all off, uh, that's one of the ones I forgot. I, I forgot to type in Fat Piggy. It's just how the brain works. Up. Well, the uh, I think the main driver for us tonight is going to be this artisanal vape right here. That's some fun with us. But first. Um, we're due for a uh, a zero like dab. We're we're probably late on the zero like dab. We're, we're at sixty eight likes. Oh shit! Okay, so let's get the zero and hurry up and get me to sixty nine so we can get one and two out of the way here. Okay. Okay. Should should we? Uh... Yeah. Wait. Wait. What you say? We're gonna do two dabs. Right away. We owe them. Uh, we're due. Okay. okay. Is that okay? I mean, we. I. I don't want to twist your arm. We can do one in like five minutes and one now if you want. We can wait. But then they're going to get to 100 and then 169. Okay. <laughs> I know how this works, man. I've done this. <laughs> or let, let me play the, the sponsorship message then. Oh, yes. Do while, that while we load up. It. 
normally we we try to get to like 69 likes or 100 likes or whatever the viewership is likes before we do our first dab but thanks to the real sponsorship we can have our dabs at the beginning in the middle and the end of every show yes. just so we can talk about the real and how fucking awesome it is <laughs> thank you stash for giving us the shot and now we can have even more dabs in our videos you ready without having to be all please like our video oh look at that go oh yes Cheers. Hope you're all dabbing along with Cheers. us at home. Uh, we started approaching uh, a few manufacturers, select manufacturers that um, you guys know we love. We use their shit all the time. And saying, hey, I'd like to sponsor the show, get some, you know, some visibility here and support what we're doing so that we can do more. And so we can we can take their sponsorship contributions and uh, make more videos and, and 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 produce more content for you and take it beyond just a Friday live stream. So we're and stoked, I dude. I wanna, I wanna remind like everyone listening that the the sponsorship thing is something that, that Jerry and I put together and chose the brands that we would be willing to accept as sponsors. We didn't just, post like sponsorship things as an opportunity we actually got together and like and i was like hey man i really love my rio and i think stash products are really fucking cool like i think the rio would be a, a hell of a, a good product to always have on the show and have stash products as a as a potential sponsor you know because we both love and believe in the rio true i i really like my rio uh rod rod was was one of the first dudes that it, that I met outside of the like the vape circles, you know, like mm -hmm. outside of like Puff It Up and like the little vape companies, I'm hooked up with them, and connected, and I really really liked the the design of the Rio and the thought of a uh, cold start engineered dab rig. And I've right. been following since the beginning. And when I met him at Champs, I knew he was cool. Thanks again, Stash Products, for sponsoring this week's episode of the Troy and Jerry Think Tank. I believe there's a, a code that you have to offer. Troy and Jerry. Jerry. Troy and Jerry. Just type in Troy and Jerry and you'll get 10% off. So. Get 10% off at stashproducts.com? Yeah, that's right. Their site. Nice. Is that 10% off everything? Everything except uh, headies or limited editions. But this Rio, okay. the Connectar, okay. all that stuff. Yeah, all, all the oh, all shit. stuff. Yeah. So sa save 10% on your Rio with, mm -hmm. with code Troy and Jerry. Rio time, baby. I tried to predict to the end of the, the <laughs> little clip, but I fucked it up and had to like hold my, my head in for a bit. Nice, uh, nice cuts there, Amanda. And thanks are we, again. Are we still in the video with the sunglasses? You faked me out there, man. I faked you, you out like that. You like that? Yeah. And I was saving my dad for the return. So uh, cheers, guys, in the chat. We can uh, get this going, you and me together. This Troy will clean up his. Then we got another one anyhow. So we're going to do all right here. Man, I'm so glad I cleaned my Rio. A little clean Rio in the morning. Ooh. Ooh. <coughs> the Rio isn't a uh, artisan product per se. <coughs> but the bases... <coughs> the bases are, you know, hand-poured. Are they? Okay. That's why they look so cool. And I don't know if, if I would call that like an artisanal thing or not, but I mean, it is a learned skill at a minimum. At a min, at a min. Oh, there's my Q-tips. Hang on. I can't do a show without the Q-tips. <clears throat> I, I got some Q-tips right here. Right on. And of course, the little stops working. There we go. Ooh, Ooh, I saw it go in. I saw it. Holla. I saw the whole thing. I cleared the path. I cleared all the obstructions. There were some obstructional things standing in front of the Q-tip canister Where right here. Go, Troy. I cleared the obstructions. That way I can pick my Q-tips quickly. Can't get this thing. There we go. The next one, I'll, I'll, I'll go for the uh, blind speed toss. Bless you! Hail Satan! And I want to I want a warning so I can watch because I'm always doing shit when you switch to your cam and I miss the whole thing. So give me a heads up. We'll do that thing. Um, are usually you ready? The, the warning is usually the dab. Like, hey, if you see me dabbing, here comes the 
I or, know that, but I'm dabbing with you, so like I ain't gonna, you know. Fine, fine. We need a little ding every time you're gonna switch to that camera. Can you put a sound on that camera pedal so it goes ding, and it'll do a little thing for me? I, I can, I can. I don't know if it'll work in the stream though, because like technically, technically when I do this, it has it has music. It has like on hold music. Okay, but you don't hear it. No. It, it, for some reason, it doesn't work. Oh wait, maybe no, it's because too bad. That's too bad. Do you hear it now? Well, let me let me turn my shit off. No, you ain't got no music going. Yeah, I, th I think like the 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 software, like the whoops. Whoa, that's that's my favorite view right there. <laughs> I think the software like thinks that it's fixing the audio and like, oh, this shouldn't be playing. This isn't the person talking. Right. Got this fucking music. Well, ready for the dab? What dab? The 100 like dab or 69? Right. 69? Yeah. Okay. Let's do it. Let's let's get get these things out of the out of the way so we can continue with the the show. We've got a big show tonight, Jerry. We got a lot of artisanal vapes and, and uh, I wasn't sure how to define artisanal, like an artisan because I mean like Mm -hmm. Handmade is, is slightly different than artisan. Yep. Well, it was easy with the va the vape bong or vape bong. That was a no brainer. Uh, I pretty much went with anything that was wood, unless it was kind of on the mass produced side. So, like Magic Flight, no. Um, what was the other one I asked you about that was that was where we didn't we didn't break out the vape man or the vape man. And I didn't break any of my Apollos, but I could. Um, the only one of these that isn't really like, that's kind of borderline is um, maybe um, the Tiny Mite, just because that's not totally like hand-shaped wood. You know, it's kind of like some paneling put in there or something like that. But yeah, well, we kind of went with wood. I mean, that was the easy part, the wood. And then what else? Uh, I, I included anodized titanium, like yes. artisanal anodization. Because not all anodization is created equal. Like I know anybody can connect their battery charger and their wang to the to the vape and throw it in some borax and baking soda or whatever the concoction is, and ooh, it's green now. But a lot of these guys are are, are spending a significant time to learn the art, and that also costs time and money mm -hmm. because you gotta you gotta have product, you gotta have materials to anodize. And you can't do it more than once, really. Yeah. Like you can't you buy a fucking omni and, and stick it in your shit and turn it turn it brown. You're done. You can't you can't try it again. I mean you might yeah, be able to sand it down and try it again for for learning sake, but that that is never gonna be a mm -hmm. product that anybody is, is gonna want. And then unless you know, unless it's the first try, every try, and there's a lot there's a lot to anodization even, like getting it's it still, man. It's an yeah, art totally. Like you said, I totally get that for sure. Like we've been watching Austin do it for for years, and I, and I would I would wager to even say that he's he's innovating in that in that realm in terms of anodizing as an art. I, I think he's doing things in a very small mm -hmm. piece on a very small canvas that I have never seen. Like I've never seen a lot of anodization art. Period. So I don't know what else is out there, but he, he's doing some shit that is. Like he, he's not copying techniques from anywhere that I know of. Like he's experimenting and fucking around and coming up with cool ways to do it. So you is see the new Omnis he posted? Did you see yeah. those new Omnis that he posted? They're fucking dope. Yeah, crazy. Yeah, cool. Mm -hmm. So you've got some of that to show off tonight, then too, right? So I do. I have some. I have some some titanium that's been craftily anodized. All right. Well, let's fire this up and get to. It. All right, Dad All right, number Chad. two. Rock and roll, uh, chat. You ready for 113 dab? This is 113 likes, dab. This uh, is what this one is? No, this is 69. This is 69. Then right. we're behind one, but we'll wait. <laughs> we're behind. Isn't our next one 169? I thought it was 100. Fuck. Got to change the rules a little?
the early crew likes to dab, man. They pound that that like button when they get here. They, yeah, they want the dabs. They want the dabs. That's fucking great. Me fucking like you, bro. That was good. It was real good. All right, man. Yeah, I don't need any more than two dabs to get started. We'll save that. We'll save that hundred when we get to one sixty nine. Then we'll double up again. That was fucking yummy. Way to go, gang. <laughs> there we go. So. Uh, so listen, man, we're going to start off uh, talking about firewood. Um, because firewood? Firewood, Jack, Mr. Wood, fire, Mr. Wood, firewood. We're going to talk about firewood mainly because of uh, these are artisan vapes that we have um, on the portable side. You can get it. You know what I mean? Like we told you, you wait for a long time for these. Uh, this one I didn't have to wait as long for. I'm not sure what the current status is, but um, firewoods are dope. And he's... Um, He's been making these for a long time. When he first started, uh, they literally looked more like a block of wood, kind of kind of rectangular like that. Um, and then uh, he's up to, to model number seven now, which actually is uh, it might might be my fave. Uh, it's either that or number four. Um, I have four, five, and seven here, and Let's Troy has some gap. Yeah, show show us. Start with your oldest and work your way up for me, man. What do you got in there? The oldest firewood. <coughs> Your oldest one, like a three, is that the? Here it is. What's that? What's that one right there? That block one. Yeah, there you go. This one. This is the firewood three. Nice. So the firewood three, it has a removable battery, but you have to remove these little flathead screws on top, and its mouthpiece is also the capsule holder. So you have this little capsule. This is where you put your weed in this tiny little glass vial and this silicone tube that's connected to another piece of glass. So there's a piece of glass inside the silicone. So it's the, the vapor path is not the full silicone. It's like glass, tiny little bit of silicone, glass, tiny little bit of silicone, glass. So it, it's a, it's a convection vape. And this guy wrote a software. So there's a little soft button down here and uh, my battery is dead, unfortunately. And there's a little light. So this vape, you, you'd like turn it on and it's still in the, the, the modern firewood still use a similar firmware software. Uh, this one, you would turn it on with like three clicks and it had three different heat modes and you were able to customize the heat modes. Like if you wanted to bump, like let's, let's say you like the, the temperature three or temperature four or whatever, but you wanted to make it a little more aggressive or a little less aggressive. You had like seven or nine steps that you could customize the temperature with on this. And it's made out of a solid block. This one's maple. Convection. That's pretty dope. looks like a piece of wood. I kind of like that. Just a block. Yeah. It's, I, I, I actually wanted the firewood too. And when I went to went to get it, it, it was like, nope, moving on to the firewood three already. So I was like, oh shit. And then uh, this one I got right at the end. I got right at the end. I, I just barely caught the firewood three. Oh, nice man. Yeah, yeah. I remember when he came out, and and I liked what I saw, but um, based on what I read on the form, this was a while ago. I don't remember when, but it was a lot of years ago. Um, I just got a sense for what was going on and I felt like I knew what was there and I didn't want it in terms of, I uh, wasn't quite cool enough. I could tell he was struggling with, with, with some of the, the variables. And um, so I didn't even get into the firewood scene until this one here with number four. And this might be one of my faves, man. I really, I really like this one. It's uh, it's similar to yours, except it's smaller in that there's the, the same kind of a glass capsule and then a, a, a silicone sleeve on it. This one here, yeah? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, oh, I love the wood on yours, man. Check that yeah. out. What, what, what wood is that? Walnut. 
show that off a little, man. That's sweet. That's, oh. uh, I really like the uh, the way this vape carries. Like I actually carried this vape, Jerry, for mm -hmm. a long time. Like I I, I carried this vape uh, around. A lot of people shared this vape with me. Like out and about. Like this vape got used and abused. That thing is dope, dude. I fucking love that. That's beautiful. Yeah, man. Is the mouthpiece maple too? Walnut, you mean? Or walnut? Yeah, is it walnut? Yeah. Okay. Oh, I see. It's going the other way, right? That's so this dope. is this is considered a cooling unit, and which was optional. Like yep. you could you could buy this vape, just like this, mm -hmm. or or with this, and I. I I, I, I kind of thought that was a little weird. I thought it, it should it, it should come complete. It should come with this. This is this is the vape to me. Yep. The other way is just like an older version collection. I don't know. But totally agree. Uh, out of all the firewoods, Jerry, this one is my favorite. Nice. Um, of my three, it's the one I've used the most, but I don't think it's going to be my favorite. I've really kind of fallen for this seven a little bit here um, after I've played with it a bit. Um, but in the, in the, in the four, you know, he, he came out, I, I couldn't find it, but he had a little capsule caddy where you could get like three of these and they go in a little box. It was really dope. Yep. So he had already started to think about, um, you know, what about more bowls while I'm on the road? And so then when he did the five, he came up with this funky solution for that, where he basically had this tray that had five bowls in it and they just slide. And so after you've, after you've loaded all five of them and put it in, then that little notch right there, you can just slide it until it lines up with the next notch and there's your next bowl. There you go. And you're walking around with like five bowls in your pocket. That's actually a uh, concentrate. That's pad. dope. A mighty concentrate that. pad. <laughs> How, how was that? Did you like that? Yeah, it rocked. Rocked my socks right. off. Dude, another dope piece there. What What is that? Uh, walnut again. I love that, man. Yeah. I loved I loved the way, and I still love, um, the way that the firewood smells. Uh, Mark used a, a, spe a special mix, and I actually t talked to him about it, and I communicated with him about the, the the mix he uses because I love the way it smelled. And uh, mm. he actually shared, like, yeah, here, this is the product that he buys and it's like half this, half this or whatever. Mm. Yeah, and I, I never, never followed through and bought it, but I still want to. Mm -hmm. <laughs> nice, man. That's cool. Nice like button too. Show off the button on that thing. Like he always oh, yeah. has nice buttons. It's a, I think it's a purple heart button. Yeah. Nah, get the focus going. Right, here, let me do this one. This one will work. Yeah. Dude, look at that. That's dope. Yeah, with a little Firewood 3 logo. Or Firewood 5 logo, sorry. Yeah. And show the show the logo on your 4, too. The 4 had some cool shit going on. Yeah, see that logo? And that's the button, too, where you get to select your shit. So... You push that button a number of times, and he's got yep. a whole menu of what it does each time you push it. This is a cool Super vape, vape, man. Firewood four. Yeah, I like that. Like the the, oops, the worksmanship and the craftsmanship. No, nope. the design is just look at that. Killer. This was a, a recall, I think, when he filled that little spot oh, in. Oh yeah, right, right. He recalled this vape and and filled it in. I like what he did with the five here when he went to cooling after the four, where this is the mouthpiece here, and it's also the battery cover. Yeah. You can see, he's got a really long glass pathway there that that cooled a lot better. He's, he's all of, all these vapes have a real small little pathway. Um, that that five is. Balls is a uh, is a real slow sipper kind of a thing but they're full convection vapes uh for the most part they cool well they taste really good um and 
every time I pick one up, I'm surprised by it. Like I don't expect it to hit as well as it does. Like it's just, they're, they're fantastic little vapes, man. Yeah. When I, when I carried the five, I found myself only using like the last three bowls. Mm -hmm. Like I, w- I would open it up and load three and vape, vape three. And then the, the back two, I would pretty much just ignore. Yeah. Instead of turning it around or sticking. Yeah. It instead of turning around. it around. Yeah. Like I, like I found it was it, like, this was, was always no problem, mm-hmm. but taking it all the way out or, or flipping it, mm-hmm. it was asking for a, a mess. But That's man, a good point. This was a fun vape to carry. Now, look, I'm dying to see your six because I really like the solution he had for that as far as bringing more vape, more weed along for the ride. Okay. Because that thing, I don't have one of those, and I wanted one, and the seven came out, and I was like, shit, I missed out on the six. So this is the six that you're referring to? Yeah. Yes. So. I've never held one of these. These things are dope. Ironic that you don't have one. Look at that. I have two. And they squeeze trigger, huh? Yeah. So it's a, it's a squeeze trigger, but there's a locking thing. So you can lock it or unlock it. So can you there, lock it on too? Lock there. It's or there. It's open. Let me do the other one here. This one clicks better than the other one. This one's mine. The other one's yours, Jerry. <laughs> so there it's locked. There it's, I'm not sorry. There it's unlocked. I don't know. It's hard to do when it's, when it's off. Hold my arm to the freaking side. What's the other top notch for? Can it lock in the, the open position? So, let me show you here. The, the top, no, the top notch makes it so it's unlocked, so you can open it and remove it. Oh, okay. And that's the battery cover again. And the, yeah, and the bowl. The middle the one, bowl. the middle one, clickable, <clears throat> and the bottom one, locked. Locked. Okay. Bottom one is locked. So in the in the clickable position here, that's the action. So you can turn, you can change it and, and click to hold to turn on the convection. Mm-hmm. Well, show me how that loads, man. That's the crazy part that I was dying. Oh, to. Yeah. <laughs> that's the part you're looking for, huh? Yeah. This is the part that stokes me. Watch this guys. If you haven't seen this. Yeah, this is, this is pretty badass. This is, this is my, my favorite part of the vape for sure. I can do it uh, backwards here. So you take out this little cover. So this is the little cover, which is also wood. Remove this bad boy. Oh, look at that. And it's, and it's a stir stick. You have this trough where you can have your pre-ground material stored and just scoop it out. Get the fuck out. In, into the bowl. Do, 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 do. Isn't it convenient? That. That, that is dope as shit. Right? And then check this out. Check this out. So the the tail end of the of the scooper tool. Uh-huh. See how it's like a half circle. Uh huh. That half circle is the half yeah. circle of the bowl. Uh, love so it. you can you can use that to tamp down your bowl. Uh, and then use that to sweep all the rest of the little little crumbles back down into the up. trough for later. Dope, pretty dope, bad. man. Pretty badass. I, I loved, 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 loved the design of this thing. But really didn't like the squeeze, the squeeze uh, user interface. Like, yeah. like I found myself constantly like, like hand cramping and not holding it right. And um, it's just unfortunate. Just unfortunate on this one. Mm. Now I can't get my stuff. So it's full of weed. Yeah. That's pretty. That's a cool ass design, man. I haven't seen anything like that, especially on a good vape like that. That's fucking fucking cool as shit, man. So, yeah. It's, so, what it's was a, the deal with the squeeze thing? After a while, I just got to it was like, like you're working out. Like, I mean, after a while, well, just I, <clears throat> I think, I think the it, it varied from unit to unit for one because I have two of them here, and one of them is e- easier to use than the other. Like mm-hmm. the first one that I had, uh, it had. Of, of a small variance issue in a piece of the ground ceramic, mm-hmm. like the because like in the five, not all of it was wood. By the way, I wanted to point that out. The little slidey thing is ceramic. 
Right. It's like a milled ceramic or mined yeah. ceramic or some. I forget what the term yeah, term the bowls is. Bowls were always the bowls were always ceramic. The heater. Yeah. And, yeah. Same same thing here with the six. So there was there was like a, sm- a small variation or a change or something in, in the the ceramic piece, which is why I have two. The first one is is off by a, a small, but the newer one is also easier easier on my hands to click. You can hold it a certain way to make it you know a little little more leverageable so it's easier to click but i just never fell in love with with that with that interface i understand that because i i like to kind of get a vape going on on session mode and then just kind of relaxingly hit it and that doesn't include squeezing the motherfucker real tight <laughs> so <laughs> that's not going to go with my vibe you know what i mean so that's funny well, dude, uh, well, let's get to the one that you can actually get um, and show off the seven a little bit. Um, I really like this thing a lot, man. It's fucking dope. Um, it's smaller in uh, like like in width than the others. So, do you have yours right there? Where is it? Did you see it? Uh, Where the fuck is it? Not in my my. It's not in my oh. wheel. I don't see it there. Switch. <laughs> All right, switch. Next up, get get the get the B roll guy in here. All right, so um, <laughs> here's the seven, and it's it's back to boxiness. You know, gone are the nice slicky curves. Uh, kind of, well, this is the size of it compared to the four, which is good to know. A um, little taller, a little narrower, and and a little, a little well, maybe not thicker when you put the yeah, it's a little bit thicker too. Anyhow, um, on this one. This is the battery cover that slides out here. And then your bowl is, is right there. So battery cover, battery, bowl. That's a ceramic uh, bowl there with little inlet holes at the very top. So the actual bowl heats up. And then as you inhale the air, it heats up and then does the convection. It was interesting because as I, as I hit it um, and, and, or as I, I had it on and didn't hit it, the, uh, the outer edges got pretty well cooked. I mean, like it definitely has conduction on the edges and you definitely see better cooking in the middle when you hit it. So I think, I think he's right on in his, in, in the way he, uh, in the way he worked it out. Um, the mouthpiece here, let me see, how does this come up to the slide? I forget this part. It pulls. Um, you just got to squeeze and pull. Yeah, there you go. It, it slides off like this, the mouthpiece, I guess. But, um, I have, uh, I have the, uh, the dimpled stem installed. And yours is so different than mine. Slide it a little bit. But well, well, it comes with one long glass stem that's thin. And yeah, but I literally found it unusable with that fucking thing. It was so hot. But as soon as I went and got this adapter and this dimple thing, I fucking love is, it. It cools it. Your, so yours is open. Window. Yeah, my little window is like this this little guy right here, this little Dude. I'm sure mine is newer than your. Oh, maybe I got that. Is this because I got the cover that you could change it? That's probably what it is. I had to buy the cover. I think oh. you have to buy the cover and this to go with, and then the glass oh, as well. I want that. I Dude, want it's that. dope because that, that stem right there I, doesn't cool for shit. Like, I really, I, it was so hot on there. But uh, with this, man, like, uh, and, and it's really cool. There's There's nothing but one button here. And everything you, you do to communicate is just push it and feel vibrations. And on this one, he lets you program it to the 10 degrees. So I have it set up so that my starting tip is 370. And I'm kind of just hanging out there for the whole bowl and, and hitting it for a while. But um, yeah, you, you, you hold the button in. It buzzes to let you know what temp it's on. Then it buzzes again to let you know it's ready. And now I can start hitting it. And I'm at the end of this bowl, probably. Wow. No. No, I'm jealous. I want, I want that. I forgot off. that that cover was the original. I just remembered this crummy glass. All right. That's Anyhow, good. this thing hits really well. And if you get the temple glass, I love it. So, uh, well done, dude. This guy's always crushing it on these little things. I absolutely love it. I can every every time I get one of his vapes, I go, I could recommend that. And, uh, yeah, man. Line them up in order here. I feel like like that with this one too. 
Oh, I think it's time for a vape bong hit. Yeah, line them up. I really want, I really need the two in my life. Firewood two. So if anyone out there, Emily, if you're watching, if anyone out there has a two, I'd love you forever. I'm looking for a six personally. Hey, I got, I got your six right here. Oh, you got my six. Okay, thanks, man. Yeah, I'll give you my six. Or is it the five? Though? Yeah, the six. This is. The I'm five. not giving you my five. I got the four, the five. There's your six, and here's my seven. So. Yeah, I can help you out with the six. Shit. There we go. Da -da. The rest of mine are off limits. And I kept all mine the same walnut as well. So. Well, I. Mine are all all walnut except for my my three. Those are dope, man. Those are dope, and you you put you polished them as well too. Made them look real nice. I like that. I did. I used um, I used the sticky brick butter. I used sticky all brick. All right. Butter. All right. I I've been using. I test. I tested a bunch of the different. I found. I found my little drawer that had all the little oils and polishes and stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, I I tested them out a little bit. Yeah. Kenny's. Kenny's sticky brick was the easiest and the nicest to apply, I think. Well, sweet. That's what I'll start with. Because it was in a big, it was like a bottle and I got like kind of squirted a little bit and then. It's oily. It's not, not the thick buttery stuff, right? Not the wax. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. yeah. Nice. Um, Did you say something about a vat bomb? Yeah. Vat dude. Time for a big bowl, man. Time for a big bowl. Time for a big bowl. How's it going All in the right. chat, man? What's going on, man? What is it going $3 on? Three dollar mineral chat? oil, right on. The that bong is uh, that bong is artisanal. Absolutely, that's why we're both breaking it out tonight. I mean, we've we've already done like three videos on this thing, I think. So uh, you know, now it's just using it because it fits. It's it's thematic at this point, and it slams. Gotta have that going for it. You gonna put any balls in it? That's a personal question. Uh, yeah. No, I, I don't think I'm gonna fuck with this one. All right. I'm I'm, I'm I, I worry too much. I can't access anything in there. So if I stick a ball in there, and I can't get it out, it's in there. I don't want to. I don't want to fuck with it more than more than I, I am capable of immediately reverting. You know what I mean? Yeah. Jeez, man. Like if I fuck this vape up. I have to like send it to Germany or wherever. I'm gonna sneeze. I got a sneeze okay. coming. Fucking first, first hit of the bowl and it's slamming. I love that. Man. I didn't smell my weed. I sneezed. I tried to keep my eyes open, but I also got my grinder open. Don't sneeze with your grinder open. Tell it's me the same that. thing with your eyeballs. Like if you sneeze with your grinder open, you're, you'll lose your weed. Also, don't uh, don't smell your herb after you've ground it. <laughs> I learned, I learned that on Modern Cannabis. Remember that night? Uh, oh, you, sm you started your bowl, man. You, you got your bowl too close to your nose and like inhaled your, your yeah. weed hammer. With it. I was smelling it real good. Next thing I know, I had a fucking nose full of ground herb. I'm like, what an idiot. Why didn't I, why wasn't I smelling this this hard on, on the bud instead of the ground? Sit hard on. Emily is in the chat. <laughs> What's up, Emily? Your firewood too hits harder than a mighty. Yeah, man. I th I think, I think, uh, I think like the firewoods are very capable of hitting harder than the, the typical mighty hit. Like, it's a little bit of learning curve. Was that the vat bomb? Vat bomb. I love that bomb. volcanic volcanic action there. I got yeah, your just bonds. the intro on, man. I'm playing just the intro that you got me on to. Isn't that song fucking sick? Fucking slamming. It goes hard. The song goes oh, hard. God. All right, man. What do you want to pull out next? Well, I'm fucking. I'm so I'm I'm a, I'm a hit behind you. Apparently, I'm still hitting my vat bong. I just I just loaded it up. But I think we should talk about log vapes next. Shazam! I'll get Shazam. that started. You got a you got a hit you're gonna do, um, so I don't have my nylon stems with me. They're buried down there somewhere. 
So this is uh, a Purple Days, which is as far back as I go with log vapes. There's also um, Zap and um, fuck, there's some others, uh, Aroma Zaps and uh, Rock Zaps. And um, I'm forgetting a couple others. You guys can chime in over there and let me know what I forgot. The really old log vapes. But Purple Days is when I got into them. And the first two that I had are worn out and gone old cherry units. Um, this is one that I got later online. It hasn't been used much. It's fucking in good shape and it's one of the big ones. And then this is my favorite thing that I use all the time. If I'm going to use one of these, uh, this was custom made by uh, Clear Dome, one of the first four members on Fuck Combustion who was glass blowing. And he, uh, you know, put a JD welded a, a tip in there. And so now you've got a much bigger glass, wider, expansive air pad. This is a, this is a, and a carb right here to clear it. There's a fun fucking log vape stem to hit right here, man. You got the exact same one right there. Nice. I love that. Then the one that was my favorite was this uh, was this walnut here. Loved this one. This thing this is one a I, I used this to get a rattle. So it has a little rattle. Yeah. So Just that's a little that's, bit. that's one that's been used up a little bit. Got a little little uh, char in there and falling apart. So, but these are I loved this one the way it was kind of shorty. This one didn't have the light on the front. Um, none of these do. So these are on the, the light would mean they were old. So, uh, yeah, I, I, love, I, light, I love the contour not... on yours. That's cool as shit. Yeah. It's, it's for good grip. So you can murder people with this. This oh, thing is a murder can. weapon. You are fucking people up with that. This thing is like, like solid Oak or some shit, man. I don't know. This thing would fuck somebody up. If I yeah, like right. crack somebody in the skull with this thing, this thing probably wouldn't even take a dent. Hell yeah. Right. Especially that edge right there. You know, on this one, mine would slip a little bit, but yours. Not mine. Not mine. Mine's made for mo murder. That fucking mo skull's murder, giving away first, mo man. Murder. Skull's giving away. Um, let me see here. Here's a underdog. Uh, Ooh, show me your dog. I want an underdog so bad. Oh, it's so narrow. Yeah, this is pretty damn cool. Do you do you leave that on your desk sideways? No, this one I would sit straight up because the cord goes in off to the side here. So, does it fall over often? That's that's what I would be. So that's what I would be. I didn't use it that much. It might. Appreciate your honesty. Sure, easy to be knocked over, man. Yeah. Um, then, even uh, my my Ed's TNT and my E Nano <clears throat> got knocked over. E Nano made updated with a stand. So it doesn't get knocked over. I, I really like that E-Nano with the stands stand. Are dope. I love those stands, man. Yeah. I got one of the metal ones. They're fucking killer. Like metal? Yeah, like fucking metal, man. Here, I think this is a, a bamboo bamboo heat island, I think. Um, and it's Holy got a, fuck. That's a, fucking red ass. It's got a glass uh, tube. Uh, hold up. You talk. I'm combusting. Well, here, let me... Uh, let me do this for you and get you a little better, better view. If we're gonna do that, that's a beautiful piece of wood. Which one is this? This is a heat island. I'm pretty sure it's a heat island. It's basically a glass tube and nothing but a, a ceramic element with uh, looks like stainless steel encasing running right up and into a screen in a glass. Super simple. You can see right into the into the glass tube there if I can line it up right. There you go. So cork bottom. Super cool, man. Real small, lightweight. This 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 kind of design really changed the game. All these other ones we showed were big old heat sinky. I mean, this is just a huge stack of washers in here, man. Heat sink metal. And then uh and then uh Alan came along and said, Hey man, if we get rid of that heat sink, it heats up quicker, um, evaporates quicker. And just as when you can turn on and off and, and everybody's like, oh, no shit. Okay, cool. And, and it really kind of changed the game. It was really pretty dope. And then uh, that's sort of what the E-Nanos do now, you know, in, in their own way. Um, Hold up. Uh, the, the, the Heat Island guy still makes stuff, right? I believe so. And I, if he does, be patient because he is actually the first one I remember to have a year wait list. I mean, you're going to wait if you get on there. I, I I was on his website and I listed it on our on the article that I that I put up for tonight's stream. 
Hey, I got one uh, more cool one to show real quick before I get rid of my little close-up screen. Okay, let me switch back. This is the uh, the hot pod from Australia. This thing is dope as fuck. He took a what is it a bonxia bonxy pod and turned it into that. Got the plug on the bottom, and then he's got the same kind of thing. It's a glass tube with the heater, but it's hanging from the top. And then the air comes in these holes that you see and then go right up into that tube. And then you just take a glass stem with a, uh, with a, with a silicone sleeve, similar to what Alan had with his heat islands and made it to that and just start to hit it. And it just pulls hot air straight up through But This thing is dupe. And I don't think he made, but a few dozen as betas. And then he wasn't able to actually make them, but, Fucking neatest looking log vape I've ever had. I love it. This is one of my faves. I'll never get rid of. That is my a la- badass looking vape, bro. The last one I'll show you, just because it's the last log vape, and then I want to see what you've got is a, a wood sense. This is my beta wood sense. I think it's zebra wood from Ed. It's fucking awesome. He did a fantastic job with these things. Dynavaps tips fit those. And uh, these are high class, man. They're dope. Anyhow, yeah, I'd say these two are the ones that are my fave right now as far as just special wanted to show that these there's Alan. Alan. Yeah, that's right. Alan, Alan's website still shows stuff. So I don't know if, if he's, mm-hmm. it says 2013 at the bottom, but I, I would assume if he's not wanting to sell stuff, he would update it and take it down. So it looks like it doesn't need to though. I mean, literally he, like, beautiful. like he, <laughs> He's going to have a two-year wait list whether he updates that site or not. So, you know, I, I think he's not very motivated to update the site. I hope he's still selling. It'd be great because, I mean, he's – dude, that guy changed the game a long time ago with, when it came to log vapes. Right. He did a good job. Uh, so for other log vapes, I think mine are, mine are both Ed's. So I, I, I have E-Nano. I've got, I've got the 2000 – I think it's the 2019 nice. Ed's TNT. And then I have this one right here. This one's fucking gorgeous. Oh, this. dude, that thing. Blow that shit up. Okay. I wish I could mouse left-handed, but I can't. That fucking vape is amazing. So this one has some really cool... Oh, look at the eyes on there. Oh, yeah. The grains. It looks like you got like hair almost flowing. It's got faces and all kinds of shit. Dude, in it, man. you get high and look at that for a while. Yeah, man. Well and done, Ed. That's fucking go, just like even on the inside. There's like <sighs> look at that little color spots. Uh, like, this is an amazing, an amazing piece of art. Damn. Damn. That's a good looking piece, bro. Ed's TNT. Only the best, man. Love Ed. I noticed yours had like a little silicone ring around it. So you must be using the glass stem. I like to use mine with the Dynavap stem. I think the last time I, I pulled it out, yeah, I was I was trying to try a glass stem because I'd never used it with a glass stem. I, we, we didn't have that when I was beta testing, or at least I didn't have one that I remember. Um, so yeah, I, I was, I was trying to give the glass stem a shot, but, uh, yeah, show off that stand. That's cool, man. Yeah. This is cool with the stand and this, the little glass holes here fit the, the stems. Does the slot fit the, uh, the grinder card? Is that what that is? It does. The slot fits the little grinder card. And I think those little grinder E-pick? cards are actually not the grinder cards, an e-pick tool, which is pretty cool. That tool's a useful tool the, the grinder cards aren't, but it, there's a little bit of a grinder on it, but that e-pick tool is pretty dope. So this is the bowl with the E Nano. It's a little little glass thing. And is that the, a gong the, point? Yeah, this is the gong. This is the fourteen millimeter gong. Cool. And the stand. I really like the stand. It's dusty as fuck because I put humidity into my room and I have hard water. And it turns out that that makes white dust everywhere. Yeah. So that's why all my shit gets dusty so fast. I don't know why I'm fucking telling you that because I'm high as shit. But yeah, here's the E Nano. A little different than the then the wood sense, like the wood sense is like wood and titanium, and the Enano is like metal, stainless steel, heavy. Uh, this is like mass produced artisanal, you know, 
Like yeah. this, this guy mm-hmm. probably makes a whole bunch of these in a day. This guy probably makes one of these in like a week, you know, like, I don't know. Ed, Ed puts a lot of time and, and uh, effort into these, these things. Oh, these, these are also will work with your Dynavet as well as with the, the glass stems. I don't think they're convertible. Actually, they are. They are totally convertible. Ta-da. Today I learned. What'd you learn? Your E-Nano stem works on the wood stems? Yeah. Sweet. Yeah. That's probably what I'll use next time when I break it out then. Uh, and that's all I have on on the log log rapes. But on, on XT&T, I wanted to, I'm going to show off nice. my pipe stems. I have one of these Makes pipe sense. sense things, which is like a butane contraption. So similar to like a sticky brick or whatever, you put your weed in here, hit it with a torch. It's interesting, super portable, super portable. Uh, wasn't a huge fan of it compared to other things, but again, the, the the work on it is is worth having. Oops, I think this cap is from like my Lotus. That's, That's cool. The That's work cool. work on this stem is just incredible. Ed does incredible things That's with fucking wood. Dope. Look at that thing, man. Ed and his wood. <clears throat> Dude, those are dope. Um, let's see. We've uh, we have our sticky bricks out, absolutely art- artisanal babes. Fuck yeah! We, we um we've already gone over the lineup at least a couple times on the show, but I figured I'd pull out probably my fave in terms of the look when I line all of mine up on the wall is is the uh, fuck it. this thing is dope. Look at this thing, man! The one with the lid on it that comes right off. All the I love that dude. I remember when I when I go running out to like. Oh, look, I started, oh, how old is that shit? I wonder if that's from the last hurricane. <laughs> it was my hurricane vape for a while, man. So uh, anyhow, I dig the max, man, crushes it. And uh, you've got you've got more of them out over there, don't you? What do you got going on? Yeah, I've got a few bricks. So here in the front, the the hydro hydro base with the fractal. <sighs> Fractal's dope. And then I've got a few, few. I've got a bunch of bricks. This one's my favorite right now, in the moment. My, my pink ivory. Junior. That's pretty dope. That's pretty dope. Um, oh, I will grab one more. I'll grab one more if I can find it real quick. Oh yeah, here we go. Oh, the other one's covered. Put some five tens on it. I like this olive that he did. Oh yeah, oh. olive. Fuck you and your olive. No, so the greens on that are dope. Here's my more hydro, fractals. Yes, Hydromax. That is fucking cool as shit. Brick wars, baby. Brick wars. That's fucking awesome. Yeah, I think this is probably my my favorite grainy one. This is fucking dope. Well done here, brother. Nice job, Kenny. Kenny crushes these things, man. Fucking crushes them. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Um, and then, uh, I kind of wanted to go down, um, a line, a line, a line of vapes here that kind of starts with, uh, with RBT with the, with the Milana here. You cool with that? Is that a good time to slide on over? Yeah. I mean, you know, you've been, you've been talking about the Milana. I know Argo was, was enjoying his Milana and yeah, uh, I talked about I, refreshing my Milana video if they're going to be available. I'm not sure if they're actually available. I don't think they are. But I'm going to vape on my Milana. If I can hit. This is a dope one here, man. I started using this here. Look, look at how I even lined up the, the, the cap on the bottom to match. It's fucking beautiful. Wasn't that special? Some battery caps and beauties. Anyhow, um, but, uh, but anyhow, <laughs> Ryan over there uh, started with the Zion, which is up there. I, I've got like a few of them, but I just wanted to pull this one out to kind of represent his lineup. Wait, you got a few Zions? No, no, I have one Zion, and then and then I have a couple, like another Milan oh. and, and oh, some okay. other shit. You've seen my Zion. It's the one that I fucked up the magnet on. Um, 
But this is what's important about these artisanal vapes is not just that they're beautiful and they're hard to get, but that these guys um, they innovate and they change the game and they and they and they bring new ideas and and tech to the space that hopefully they can um, can take to the next level. Uh, a lot of times that doesn't happen, but uh, and sometimes their 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 innovations sneak up. But but I'll show you on the lineup here. Um, this particular vape has a heater in here that's uh, it's um, stainless steel ribbon, uh, stainless steel mesh done in accordion fold that goes up and down. And it's a ton of high surface area. Uh, what Ryan was was kind of bringing into the into the space we hadn't seen yet was a high surface area heater that was very quick to heat up and cool down. Everybody was going for these big heat, heat sinks. It took a while to heat up and you could run all of them for a while. He was like, let's raise it way up and burn it up and then bring it down. And so that's what he did with these things. But um, then he also uh, did, the, uh, he filed for patent on like, I think 12 different heater styles. And this was one of them. <clears throat> he's, he's the only one to really do this. Somebody in China um, came up with something like it, but his number 12 heater uh, got into some others. I believe that's what was going on in these little buds here. Um, so the, the little buds were another uh, small run. There weren't many of these made either um, by like a dude in his house. There's a fireman actually. And uh, then he, then he, th this was a manual controlled single button, single 18, 650. And then he did one, uh, the, the, uh, I forget what little bud something. Um, and then, oh, I have one of those. Yeah, you've got one too. I saw it on your carousel. But he took a, um, a DNA chip in here so you could really fine tune what was going on in, in the heater down here. Which ones? Um, these are pretty dope. Big, a little different. But the point is, this thing, yeah. Heaters. We're talking oh, a, a family of heaters. Look how, look how big mine is. I got big long wood. That's funky, dude. I remember seeing that. That's cool as shit. Yeah, there you go. Look at that. That's fucking cool, man. Um uh, I don't like to be harsh on artisanal stuff, but the way the grains are like perpendicular mm -hmm. makes me cringe. It's like a, it's an irrational thing. It's like, for me, it just makes me ill. Well, he was, I think he was pretty new to, to he was new to the space. And I don't, I, I, don't, I don't think he'd been a carpenter real long, but he did a pretty good job for, for his earliness. But I hear you on that. Um, but then also I wanted to show you this one, um, the tiny mite. You've seen the tiny mite before. Um, <clears throat> we did a, a whole video comparing it to the P80. And um, the tiny mite has a, a similar heater to, to these where they have a, a spiral like this, uh, again, mesh. This one, he took a, a stainless steel film and it's beautiful. Um, and it, it's fucking smoking. These, these heaters crank it. He also is uh, regulated with a little temp control dial down here. Um, and then a little cooling unit in here. Uh, the problem with these vapes here is uh, they, don't, they don't cool a vapor very well. You got to get a different stem or something to cool a vapor. Uh, maybe a dimpled stem would do well. Um, this, this thing works, the cooling unit. Um, what were you going to say, bud? Yeah, that, that right there. That shit works. Speaking of innovation, RBT, wasn't RBT one of the first to, I mean, he didn't invent the glass nipples, obviously, but... I want to say he was he was one of the first to, to start really implementing them in his cooling stems. The way I remember it is the first time I saw that at all was Glass on Charlie. the um, was was on the uh, the elevator from seventh floor, and I remember the post. Some motherfucker took that thing, popped a screen in it with some weed, and stuck it in a, in an RBT vape and said, "Check out this fucking thing," and it cooled it because he was sucking out through the intake there. And he said it worked. And, and, and that's how I, I remember that whole thing starting. And then from there, I don't know who actually took it and made real stems. But um, anyhow, I do remember that, yeah, RBT, I think they were the first ones to say, hey, let's really make a bunch of those fuckers and put them on our vapes specific. You've got the big long ass motherfucker there. I was born with it. Um, <laughs> but I remember, I remember Ryan was taking these stems and he would, he would, vape, he would vape in his Milana and then he would turn around and stick it in his bong and, and hit it with a torch. 
and then vape it more. And I, I, I appreciate that, that innovation. I, I, I love that it's like a dual purpose thing. But as a stoner, it scares the shit out of me. Like <laughs> taking something that is native for your mouth on one end and then suddenly eating it with a torch. Yeah. And then being high and, you know, accidentally put, I mean, it's just asking for it, in my opinion. But I'm going to vape like a Milana if I have a fresh bag. Hell yeah, man. Um, I'll just show you real quick while you're doing that. I'll show the P80 again you've seen on our video. You can get little custom uh, stuff on your on your uh, on your P80 custom designs. See that P80 from Lamart. I have a couple of other other Lamart things. Let's let's show all, all of our Lamart stuff. Okay, I only grabbed this one because it's the one that's available. But uh, um, yeah, I've got them right there. I got the whole island right there. This is the latest P80. Uh, is it? Is it coming on? Oh, I got to put a battery in it. <laughs> Batteries in these things. Is this is a little dinky stem that's dope as shit. That actually really works as far as cooling it down. You want to show the others that you got so they can they can see what the others are like? Oh wait, wait one more I got. One more I got. This is the mist vape. Mist vape is pretty cool. This is kind of like a touch button right here. Um, battery slot, simple little cover and a slide. Um, and then uh, a little window so that you can see the, the heater. That's the actual heater. And uh, what do we got? We got an on and off button on the bottom and a 14 millimeter bowl instead of these 18 millimeters that all the others use. So I actually can't find my 14 millimeter bowl instead of using all these others. I, I got to go find it to use it. But another cool little um, manually controlled, not not regulated little vape there. Jerry. Yes, sir. Are you vaping on the sativas tonight or what? In fact, the the dabs are and the weed is not. All right. I'm still va I'm, I was I just finished packing my Milana bowl from like where we were talking together 20 minutes ago. Uh, I I I have things to show for both the Lamart uh, stuff. Yep. And the Mist vape stuff. Oh, sweet. Sweet. Like you ready? <laughs> you already blew through all your shit. <laughs> well, no, I've, I'm, I'm, I've got uh, a couple more here. I mean, I could grab my Lamart as well, but I thought, if, oh, you're, you're going to hit that. Go ahead and hit that. <laughs> you're cracking me up, man. You're cracking. I'm cracking you. Here's the uh, the Tubo uh, one and two. This is the original Tubo. The Tubo uh, box mod. And then down here, he's got his uh, triple heater, three glass tubes with uh, wire coils going into a gong screen. You can see the heaters there as well. And then right up into your herbage. And then uh, same thing here. This was a later model that he made. Same heater as opposed to the, uh, the quad heater on the P80. But uh, what was cool about this one is this box mod had both single and double battery uh, covers. Good luck, man. There you go. And so this is the uh, the double battery size. And then uh, somewhere up there is a single battery that you can slide in instead. And then you've got it as, as, as a single battery and it would look the same footprint as this one. So later on with this one, you could kind of have two vapes in one in terms of single and double battery. And he's got a little stir tool on here. Uh, that's what's cool about the P80. The stir tool is inside. He spends time on these mouthpieces, which is dope. Love his stuff, man. Love his stuff. Look at this. I got a big wall I'm making over here. It is time for some dabs, though, isn't it? What are we up to for likes? Are we up to 169 yet? <laughs> Look at you. Did we hit 169 yet on the likes? No. What are we up to? 156. Yeah, get to 169, guys, and we'll double dab. Jesus, fuck. <laughs> oh, I love you, Joy. You're cracking me up. I got to pack another vap, bat bong bowl after I... I'll hit this one more time. <laughs> I, I shouldn't I shouldn't have hit the Indicas. That's that's for sure. I, I vaped on this creme de la creme that I trimmed last night. Oh, sounds good. Oh, my gosh. It's... Uh, it smell, dude. It's one of those those weeds that 
smells different than it tastes. Mm-hmm. Like it smells, it smells like like freshly melted or freshly molted plastic. Like it has this really strong, like chemically weird. But it's but it's also like kind of fruity, like fermenty it's banging, fruity. bro. <laughs> Dude, it's, it's, it's a weird smell. And um, when it vapes, it it has more of like a a creamy, boozy fruit taste to it. Boozy, like beer, alcoholy. Not so much beery, but like not, not so much like alcoholy, but like like a fermented kind of like alcoholy, like on the fruit, kimchi like, kind of a thing, a little 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 spritey. Little, you know, little, like little you know that taste that you get when when you make when you make like a pineapple upside down cake, mm-hmm, the fizzy thing, yeah. And it gets like it's like caramelized, oh, that pineapple-y, like rum kind of taste. It kind of yeah. has like that 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 creamy, almost like a uh oh fuck, never mind. Lightning y, lightning y. Yeah, there we go. I, I had a word that I was gonna say, and I can't remember what it was now. It's gone, man. Lightning y. That's it. Creamy, funky fruit. Gone. It says. Creamy, creme funky fruit. Creme de la creme. <sighs> so, what's the next vape you want to show over there, man? Ooh. Yeah. We haven't shown off any of our Dynavaps. We just did that last week, but we could do it again. And then I've got a couple of damn Morrison pieces, and that's about it. Well, let's go to the let's go over here and take a look. Let's go to Troy's Wheel of Fortune. <laughs> Since we were talking about Lamart stuff, you talked about your P eighty. Big money, group, big money. Group some things together here. Let me grab this. Sweet. Blow your shit up too, man. All I'm gonna do is be hitting vapes over here. Blow my shit up. Okay. Man, it's hard to mouse left-handed. There we go. Yeah, you got skills, bitch. So this little guy is the Tetrax. Dope. You have one of these, right, Jerry? I believe somewhere up there is one of those, yeah. So it's a 510 controlled box mod thing with four heaters. It's the same heater that's in Jerry's Tetra P80, Mm -hmm. and it's a fucking beast the beast of a heater the the tetra p80 the tetrax heater uh you can you can clear little little bowls like this like this little bowl that that i'm chewing away with on the milana uh the milana will take you know four four or five hits probably at the way i'm i'm pacing it uh this thing this thing can clear that bowl in one or two hits no problem no problem. Uh, this thing can take a male, so you, you have like a male uh, adapter on your bong, so you have like one of these on your bong with a, a rimless or a rimmed screen, and then this sits on there on your bong, and convection, dry herb, thermal extraction that rips your fucking face off. Dope. Also from the man Lamart. Ooh, here's here it is right here. This little guy right here, that's funny, butane. Yeah. yeah, this one's this one's the butane powered one, and this one works the same way on a male. So you put the the screen here with the little basket, and then this goes on here, and then you torch up in, and it the butane heat uh, vapes vapes the weed. And this thing fucking rips as well. What's cool about this one is since the the shape of the flame intake is like a little bit straight here and they're all kind of the same. You can kind of use, use an angle uh, that, that points in. So like you can go straight up or straight in, you can use that angle uh, as, as like your, your uh, gas pedal or as your like thermal, thermal gauge. It's, it seems a little easier to control. Or it's somehow more straightforward to control than a lot of the other ones. Dope, dope. Because it's a, it's because it's a consistent curve. Mm-hmm. I'd actually like to see a consistent curve. 
beta for like some of the sticky bricks and other ones to see if, if that makes a difference. Got you know? to, got to. Cause this, I, I thought the consistent curve and this really, really made it to, made it perform. I just didn't like the whole, you know, torching up on a bong and towards mm -hmm. my face. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right, man. That's, that's where, that's where things fell short with, with the, the pyro. But he also has this one right here, which is the flam. Mm -hmm. So this one has some little nipples in there. And you put the basket down there. You can put the weed above the basket on this one. And then you can you can torch torch down in there. It uh, has nipples as a flame restrictor. So again, innovation. Right. Take, taking taking ideas and using them in new ways. This is this is in the, the flame intake. So You can kind of get you can kind of get aggressive with it, and uh, mine's mine's all cleaned up right now, and I don't want to dirty it up. I want to take some pictures before I use it again. Uh, see if I have anything else from Lamart. I don't think I do. Anything else you want to show off? Yeah, uh, I want to shout out G forty three. Not necessarily artisan in a sense, but it is it is a handmade thing, and they. Their vape critic was definitely putting putting a lot of passion into making this shit. So I'm gonna shout that out. I want to show off the O'Connells. I've got a, I've got a few O'Connells here, dude. I love this piece you're about to show. I've got I've got more than one O'Connells. So I'm gonna try to get a couple of them over here. What about the big the one in the middle? Isn't that one too? The big tall one in the middle. On the Rio piece. The one that's that's uh, junior size. This one? No, no. There's a, one that looks like a junior over there, right in the middle, right in the middle, facing you. No, that. This is this is a Doug's Woodery. Okay, my bad. Okay, it's different. It's different. Thanks though. Appreciate the good looking out. Uh, all right, so O'Connell. O'Connell has a, a, a bunch in his in his lineup, and they're they're pretty neat little pieces. Again, pretty pretty woods. They use the the butane flame intake, and they all kind of have this shared pick tool that also serves as like a, a locking mechanism. Uh, this this one, shape. this one's neat, isn't it? This one has a sneaky peep bubbler Dope. currently installed as a mouthpiece. Uh, the bowl down here with an O-ring in it. Whoop. Not anymore. That's cool. So this one has a flame restrictor built in. So this so it's a little bit different than the sticky brick where the sticky brick is like a convertible. You can take it out. Uh, you can also take this one out, but it, it really works best with, with it in. Um, check this out. This is, this is really neat. Oh, this one doesn't have it. It doesn't. Never mind. I'm slow. So there's little magnets on the side. This one has two magnets. Yeah. So you can take the bowl piece out. Isn't this gorgeous, by the way? It's fucking amazing, man. So this piece comes out, and there's like two little magnets. There's like a magnet in the dude's forehead. See that? <laughs> so now you can load your bowl. So if you're standing up, you know, vaping on the go, you can have your little... Yeah, very cool. I like that. Yeah. Pretty neat little, neat, neat little device. That's fucking dope looking, man. I really like the shape, you know, and the color. He he does some cool shit. Yeah, this is the the OH OHV, and this is how the locking mechanism thing. So like the bowl won't come out. I got to remove this locking pin and put it in the other hole. That's what she said. Before the bowl piece will come out. I love it. Troy setting himself up and knocking him down. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so these are these are cool little pieces, and I think he, I think he makes these on like a, a CNC thing. Bouncing around, it's fucking great, man. Those are dope, dude. I love them. I love them, man. Um. Oh, you brought up the uh, other one. 
Fuck. Yes. Um, Lost the battery. Just a battery, folks. Just a battery. Here's the dugs. So the dugs is very junior like. It's real pretty. Uses a different wood. Oh, and they don't match. There's some neat shit about this, though. Yeah, let's let's get this over here and uh, get some close ups. So the Doug's Woodery. Mm -hmm. Had it on backwards. Sorry. No, See, it's made out of like. <laughs> what, it's the Nova. That's it's very, didn't line up. Yeah, it's very similar to the to the Junior. The the flame intake and the mouthpiece are the same size in the same same little bend uh, and it has the little pick tool Whoop. has four magnets around it uh, and then each each little edge up here is like rounded so there's like the, the four magnets mm -hmm. um, so you get kind of like the slinky slinky fit some people like it. Some people don't. It's one of those things, I think. But yeah, it's a similar. It's a similar style. It's got a really big bowl and a really narrow flame intake with the the flame restrictor disc up in there. Uh, the flame restrictor disc is kind of integral. Like it, it helps that flame spread out and the the bigger bowl evenly. It's pretty dope. Yeah, pretty neat little, uh, pretty neat little piece. I like that mobile. It's got like an eye on it. Looks like an eye with like eyelashes. Eight right. Plus. Half a heart, something it's cool, man. I like that. Yeah, it's a really cool piece. Really cool grain. Really cool figuring. So, Emily's asking them. Oh, before we get into the metal artisans. Uh, yes. Most of all, actually, all of my metal artisans are are also Dynavap artisans. You want to just go into our Dynavap then, and we'll cover the art of the metal. Yeah, but oh, we're at 178 likes. Well, it's time to get fucked up. <clears throat> so we got to get caught up on some dabs, some dab around. Caught up on some dabs. I'm ready. God dang. I'm dang. God dang. So we'll get caught up on our dabs after we get caught up on our dabs. Um, let me show you what, let me show you what daddy just packed for the trip. Is that a euphemism? What are we doing here? Oh my goodness. What's that on top of your, on top of it's your a herb? big old layer of keef and a big old layer of THCA. The white stuff on top is the THCA. That's the stuff that's going to fuck me up. Yeah, man. <laughs> Me likey. So anyhow, all right. That's, that that's, but that's after we do our dabs. Let's dab, gang. You guys ready in the uh, chat? We got double dabs. Fuck. Double dab. <clears throat> Want to take this little uh, dab break to shout out our other sponsors, uh, Grinders for Life, which always here on my desk, grinding all my weed. Dynavap. Love you, Dynavap. Did a yep. big episode on you last week, Dynavap, and we're about to go into a whole little segment where we show third party Dynavap stem makers and uh, stash products and Simrel, which we got Simrel coming up in mm -hmm. this uh, in the segment as well. Uh, not by not by force of sponsorship, but because it's relevant. Yeah, um, and just so you guys in the chat know because that you're asking, uh, we're gonna hit these Dynavap stems. Um, then we've got some 510. I know you guys are asking about 510s. We've got some of those to show. Troy's got a, a zoo load of those. And then I've got a couple of Dan Morsons. So we're, we're going to get to all those too. I know you guys are asking, but we keep throwing that shit out there. So anyhow, um, uh, you mentioned, yeah, you know, um, it's it's funny you mentioned that because uh, we started talking about the, 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 the Dynavap artisan stuff and uh, all my stuff, uh, Simrels. And um, I went, well, motherfucker, um, I don't really have anybody else's stuff. Uh, and it's not because I don't like their stuff. I just don't have it. And um, obviously, Austin, we hang out and I, I know him from way back with the modern cannabis. There's a connection there. But um, 
No, I just love his stuff, quite frankly. I mean, of, of the third party manufacturers out there, um, I approached him honestly about two years ago. I was like, dude, I like what you're doing. I want, I want to, I want, I want to get some of that. So, um, uh, shit, are we going into that now? Cause I could just show these up real quick. I might as well. Um, we're doing dabs too. That's what we're doing. Um, I'm ready with my first dab. Are you, you tell no. me when I'll show off my sim rails and then we can go to your stuff. Do you take a nap today? Uh, no, but I did have an espresso because I was I, I, it was either nap or espresso before I came up here, and I went okay. I went espresso, gang. Um, you saw these when we did our Dynavab show, but uh, you know he's he's been doing these titanium ones that uh, Troy's going to show you some of my anodized stuff later. The new Stinger Vortex that he's got, but the first one that I got from him was this Blackwood right here. I think this is the first. Uh, Blackwood that he that he did because uh, it was ages ago. It was my first one, and uh, I really fell in love with just the whole torpedo shape. Um, how it was really just felt like a, a really expensive pen. I was like, that's some nice shit. So then we started talking about I want something else, and I wanted something like this. But he kept coming up with cool shit and cool shit and cool shit, and we finally landed on this. I showed you this the other day. I'm trying to get my camera angles better. Um, but like, here's the, uh, <laughs> this shit down here is so dope. And this is a no carb Dynavap. And it dies the tip here as well. I think this was his one. Nah, it wasn't his first anodized tip, but it was one of the first ones. My son's, uh, Simrel has that on it, but this little fucking cap right here is so cool. This pin cap, he calls it the cloak. Super dope. And then uh, later he sent me this one because uh, this was a, a no carb and I wasn't using that a lot just for special occasions. I really wanted a vortex and uh, just look at the, the, how well he does that, man. This has got the offset airport here, um, vortex stem, fucking dope. I love this thing, man. This is the one I put my most miles on. And then uh, another Blackwood that he's doing because now these are, um, I think I showed you, we're starting to add these on uh, Planet of the Vapes. And so we put a little logo on the backside. So anyhow, CBD and cocaine. Come on, Emily. You know me. You know me. Okay. So that's, that's my Simrel, Troy. And uh, you can take it away, brother. Ready to have this dab? Is I'm that... ready for the dab. <laughs> Is that what you mean? That's what I meant. I'm packed and ready. Let's do that. <laughs> All right, Chad, dab it up. Love you. Mm-hmm. Having <laughs> CBD and cocaine, you guys crack me up. Hey so Jerry, are you familiar with mini micro machines? Am I what? Are you familiar with mini micro machines? Those little itty bitty race cars. Yeah. And they had the commercials where the guy talked really fast about the mini micro machines. I barely remember that. Is that me tonight? Am I flying? <laughs> <laughs> my, these are all my micro machines, man. <laughs> That's fucking funny, man. Just racing through the shit. I mean, well, shit, we've been at it 90 minutes, so we're not like we're totally racing, but we probably are, because if you look at this shit... Between you and I both, it's probably 40 vapes in 90 minutes. <laughs> I feel like we're fucking speeding this fucking thing. You know what I mean? <laughs> On covering vapes anyhow. It's a fucking great dab. Oh, I got to do another dab too. Nate cracks me up, man. Get me an infomercial running down there where Price is Right. I don't know about the demographic, motherfucker, but uh, cool, cool idea. <laughs> Fucking cracking my ass up. Here's my Q-tip. All right, so one more dab rolling here. Let's rock. All right. You're gone. All right, so I'm done with that. It's off to the next another sativa it's like now i'm doing i'm going to another sativa man 
I left my uh, indica dabs downstairs from my honey. But don't worry, this this fucking herb bowl is gonna put the hurts on my sleepies because that stuff does. That's what I do when I when I've had enough fucking around. It's time to make a difference and go to bed. That's the kind of stuff I do. Not that I want to fall asleep on you guys, but clearly I'm a little on the on the other side of things. Talking proud. How was it, Troy? You made that face like, yep, there we go again. It was way too big. It was way too big. Way too big. That, but that's how you always go, man. I love that about you. I'm pretty sure you're taking a lot bigger dabs than I am. I think that's what's going on here. And and I, I max out my dabs based on how it feels when I hit it. Like, that's my gauge, not like anything else. Oh. You know what I mean? What? I don't know. I'm ready for the next one, though. What? What, what do you mean? <laughs> what? Why is there a next one? What's the, what's the next one that I miss? Wait, this is, isn't this 169? Technically, that was 100. What? Yeah, when we started, we did zero, and then we did 69, and then we hit 100, but we said, fuck it, we'll double up next time at 169. So we got to 170, and then we just took 100, and now we owe 169. And if these guys uh, love us, they'll fucking be at 190 right about now and start pushing for a third. Where are we at now? 192. Are we really? I love it. What I tell you, man. So we need to get on this next one pretty quick. What's what's our next dab metric? 200. 200? <laughs> it's every 100 and every 69, man. <laughs> I've only been... I've only been dabbing on Fridays. Like I, 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 for like the last two weeks or three weeks, I've only been dabbing on Fridays. Like during the show, that's the only time I've been dabbing. Wow, we're fucking you up. Yeah, man, I got cotton mouth right now. Like I don't, I don't, I don't remember I got cotton mouth. You want me to take two? One for me and one for you. No. <laughs> we don't play that. That got him moving. <laughs> I'll get the diamonds out. Oh, no, you're not fucking around now, man. I need some diamonds in my life, man. Well, the sauce is what it, it, the sauce makes me cough way too much. Yeah. And I, 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 I got way too much sauce. So I, I'm. I, Why is that? Why does it make you cough? You know what's going on? It's so terpy. Mm. Okay. Terpy cough. Yeah. All right. Well, don't forget to load that dab. <laughs> I got this, man. Yeah, dude, I love that cap of yours too. That's dope. I do too. It's a. Uh, it's not my favorite cap, but it works so well in so many bangers, and it's so easy to spot. Mm. Like because it's red. That's like, important. It's, yeah. <laughs> like my 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 favorite bubble cap. Is actually the the pie, the pie cap, like the little pie bubble cap. Uh, Seven Ten Coil sells it, and a few other people sell it now. Okay, it is a great little bubble cap. It's a fucking amazing little bubble cap. It sticks in the bangers. Somehow it has. It's just like the perfect size. Nice. But this one has like the little spiral thing, so it makes my turp pearls go around and around and around in the round bottom Sweet. banger. Yeah. Now you don't have any in that one, right? That's your Rio with the thing in the middle. Correct. I think I asked you before if you've ever put little little rubies or little balls in there. What the fuck? What was that? It was my uh, power cable for the fat bong. Because it's so fucking short. That brick is always near the fucking edge. Mine is right here near an edge. Yeah. It's dangerous. Hold on tight. I put mine on an extension cord. It's dangerous. Uh, I was going to grab my round bottom banger. Oh, and look at that. Coincidentally, the little pie cap is in. It's in the round bottom banger. Oh, um, I remember when you were beating up that thing. That, that was cool, man. This is the pie cap right here. Available at 710 coils. 
dot com. Where'd you get the uh, the banger name? Amazon. Okay. With the red with the red bubble cap, and the shirt pearls came with two rubies. Get the fuck I lost out. one of them. All that shit came, huh? I, lo- I lo- it was the weirdest moment. I lost I lost a ruby in the carpet, and I got down on my hands and knees trying to find the ruby in the carpet, and I found a matching sick turp pearl, like the exact same size, but it was, was sick. Before, huh? <laughs> I must have been. That's funny. That or it converted. I don't know. Maybe yeah, right. it felt maybe there was a wormhole. Yeah. It was ruby when it hit and sick when you found it. Yep. Wouldn't be yep. surprised. Chat, let's roll, man. You ready for dabs? Dabs, we're ready. Let's go. Oh, diamonds. Diamonds and guns. Diamonds and guns. Yep. Oh, let me grab the round. Fuck yeah. Pow, pow, pow. Holy balls. I'm a no woo woo do woo da dee yee 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 ba boo da dee zoo. Whoop. Sing to me, Troy. I love chasing that oil around. That was good shit. I love this thing, man. Oh, throat sing, Timmy. <laughs> Singing my favorite song. That's how you do it, Troy. <laughs> That's how Troy does it, guys. Hard and fast. Hard and fast. Hard and fast, Troy. This bowl here, man, this bowl is going to do to me what, what all those Indicas would have done had I hit Indicas. But I'm missing tea first. Yeah. What's going down in the chat? Uh, Pigeon Farm, but we talked about that. I mean, they pour those things by hand, but we're not we're not calling them artisanal. We're just that's the way dab of them, man. Yeah, Troy's singing up a good one. I love Troy's songs, man. We're gonna do a uh, we're gonna have to come up with a a montage release of Troy riffs, throat song riffs. I like that. We don't have enough of the coughing fits because you like to shut that shit down, but we get some of them. We get some of them, man. Not a lot, though. Oh, my goodness. Um, You're still going at it, brother. I was going to see if you want to talk about more vapes or if you want me to. I know you're saying something. <laughs> well, don't put it away. Are we at 200? <laughs> We're still in the Q-tip cam and on mute, man, but I got it all out of that corner right there. <laughs> that was fucking great, man. <laughs> Troy, hang in there, man. This is another dab. This is another Friday night dab, man. You're you're about to vape through the wall, man. You're about to vape the other side and be cool on the other. I can't hear you or see you that well, just so you know. See, I really I missed out on that. That looked good. <laughs> nice. Mute. Unmute. (coughs) 
That was a long hiatus. I so pale. You what? You what? Nothing. <laughs> Jerry. Oh, this great, man. This is fucking great. I don't recall. I don't. <laughs> I, don't, I don't recall defining the the dab rule so aggressively. Did this just like suddenly come on? Or have, we, have we always been sixty nine? Like I know we've do, been doing the zero. Like we kick it off. Now we do it the sixty nine. I don't recall doing the hundred and the two hundred though. I thought it was just like. Well, we always did the hundred, but we never really got to two hundred on the live until. Oh. I don't know. Last it's month or so. <clears throat> <clears throat> yeah, I think it was about three weeks ago it became an issue. <laughs> uh, so we went with it, man. We went with it because that's what we do, man. That's what we do. We go with it, right? You're about to vape on through to the other side. There's one more dab. Because, see, I don't think they're going to get us to 269. Oh, um, so all we got to do is nail this other one. Or we can wait and save it till 269 and double it like we just did. You want to save it for a double up? Double ups are fun, bro. Let's no, let's let, well, I don't let, let's let's gamble it. Okay. And let's I love let's this talk guy. about some Dynavap stems. Are we wait gamble it? Are we taking a dab now? Gamble it or? No, I meant like try to plow through some Dynavap stems. That's what you meant. Okay, go. Yeah, I want to see yours. So we need you to um, we need you to to zoom in uh, uh, big on you only. You can throw me off to the side if you want, and then we need to see your Dynavap steps. Throw you, oh, I can throw you off to the side. Yeah, do that. There we go. So now I can kind of look over your shoulder there and make sure you're good. I don't want you to fall over this. anything. Yes. Oh, that's the view I wanted. Look at that. <laughs> Holy shit. All right, so the first one. Mm -hmm. That's the one I like. This is... Uh, originally, it was Artisan's Daughter, but now now it's Artisan Miller. These are really cool, and they're, they're relatively affordable uh, compared to a lot of the other wooden stems on the market. It has a, a stainless steel two-piece condenser tube in it. Uh, so, like, one piece is fixed, and the other piece goes into it. <clears throat> Uh, it's pretty neat. It's pretty neat. It, it kind of, it's not omni like in terms of uh, being adjustable, but you can you can fuck with that extender with that extension tube in here and make the airport useless with this. And I, I like that. I like that. And I like doing that with this one. Uh, let's see what else do we have here. This one. Here, I want to show this one next. Oh yeah, this one. I like that one. This one is from KG Woodcraft yeah. from Allison, and Allison does amazing work as well. Uh, sh she'll swear up and down that her her more recent stuff is so much nicer than this old piece that I have, uh, but uh, this old piece is fucking incredible with with these <clears throat> these little corkscrews and this That's purple cool as shit. And it's titan or it's stainless steel lined, I think, not titanium. I believe. Okay. And it's not fully lined, but it's mostly mostly lined. Mm -hmm. And she does really nice stuff, man. That's dope. Her her new stuff is really, really badass. Uh, yeah. Down in here. What's this one? This one here is Ed's TNT. This is an Ed's TNT stem or body, I guess. So typically there'd be a mouthpiece att attached to this one as well. Really nice. I think it's Coco Bolo. Gorgeous piece. Nice. Uh, into the anodized titanium. Um, dope. My Simrel Vortex. With the blue to green fade and the little rings that he put in the middle. Really cool piece. Yeah, I like that. Really cool piece. 
Uh, another anodized piece from Joe King. And this is the assassin stem. Oh yeah, I love that. The lightsaber motherfucker, man. Yeah, man. Check out how, how he did like the the alternate blues. Yeah, yeah that thing's cool as shit. I'm fucking struggling to get it in focus. But yeah, this is pretty badass with the blue. Uh with with the, I think this is the Azurium tip on there. Yeah, looks like it. So it matches with the blue one. That's cool. Really, That's really cool. cool stuff. <clears throat> and then another Simrel. This one's wood. I love that. With the Stinger mouthpiece and the shadow shadow tip. I don't think it's focusing on it. Is it focusing or no? Oh, oh, oh. my mouse. That's hello. No, it's yeah. looking at your toolbox. There, right there. there. Really nice piece. Really nice piece. Dope. And then I think it's the last one. Uh, another another Simrel piece that he made. This one's really badass. All right, Jerry, that's. That's all of my artisan Dynavap stems, but there's a bunch. There's a bunch of artisan Dynavap stems that I don't have, and I tried to list list uh, as many as I could think of uh, today and in like forty five minutes time on on our website. Uh, but I want I, I want that list to be all of them. So if you have uh, a maker, if you know a maker that's not on that list or that that I didn't cover. Actually, there's more on the list that I didn't even mention. Let's but they can put them in the comments on that site, on that blog post, and we can we can put them up on in the copy, link to it, and all that shit. So, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. There's some here. Whoop! Hello. Yeah. That's weird. Like resources by Design Inc. Nice. He's got some stuff, and then. Uh, this one I, I wanted to shout out this the the jet drive. This is a little a little uh, butane powered vape, and I've been hearing so many good things about this piece. Like so many people have like sent me DMs like, "Hey man, you got to check out this jet drive." Jet drive. So I I indeed I need to check out this this fucking jet drive. I've been hearing really good things about this thing uh, from Red Eye Flight Control. Oh, I'll bet it's awesome. pretty cool. Looking at the design, yeah. Yeah, and he also he also does like anodizing and stuff like that. So really cool, Dope. some really cool omnis. Dope. Uh, and then Timberhead, you you have some Timberhead stuff. My you stand, have, my Dynavab stand is my Timberhead man. It's fucking dope. Yeah, Timberhead makes some really fucking awesome stuff. He makes the Rio Rio bases that are that are wood. He <clears> makes <throat> custom stands to hold like solos and Dynavaps and Dynavap collections. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I want to get something from him. I think he makes induction heaters, or he was for a while. Yeah, he, he does cool shit with them too. Like he puts them in stands. And last one I saw, he had a stand that had a uh, induction heater, places for several Dynavaps, and then some cool little shit off to the side. I, I, he's he's getting more creative every time I turn around with those things. They're just always gorgeous. That's all I know. I don't I don't know why, but I, I really want one of these. I got I just. I don't know what I'd fucking use them for. <laughs> uh, and then Dynabox. Smashing Nugs, motherfucker. Smashing Nugs. Dynabox makes, makes accessories. They're from Poland. Uh, I have one of their little cases over here on... on. That's dope. Oh, that's what the sound was. It was my camera falling. That's funny. Uh, yeah. So, yeah, my... my... More. Please. No. Really, yeah. Okay, there no. we go. There we go. <laughs> so the Dynabox from Poland, they make induction heaters and these little these little uh, magnetic cases for, for your Dynavap. I have, I have one of these. Pretty neat little accessory. Oh, that's what that is. Dope. Yeah. Uh, and they make some different ones, different sizes. And, of course, the induction heater. Uh, and ones yeah. with the magnet and maybe stems as well. Dope. 
Yeah. Uh, and then what else we have? This is the KG Woodcraft. Like this, look at Allison's stuff. Like, Sweet. 110 bucks for that? Come on. That's cheap. That's cheap. Come on. That's like that. That to me that that should be like 250 bucks, man. That's that's gorgeous. That's, that's fucking. That's that's amazing. Someone go someone go buy all of her stuff. Because 110, man, red heart and acrylic. That's so pretty. Those are dope. How many stems does she have? 75 bucks. Wow. That's without the tipping gap, I'm sure. Yeah. That one right there is cool. The, the second from the right, that thing. This one? Yeah, that, that's really neat. Yeah, it is. That's fucking cool as shit. Yeah, neat stems. Really nice stuff. And that's all I have for open tabs. But I know there's more makers on Instagram and mm -hmm. on Facebook that are that are making a couple dozen stems a year. I, I, I want to list them on on our on our site. I want to cover them. I want to want to do what I can to help these makers get exposure and and. Uh, you know, network, network, and connect the community with them. Hell yeah! Hey, um, you got any five ten addies you want to show off? Yeah, probably, Jerry. But my camera fell off, so let me, let me grab. Oh, that camera, got gotcha. you. Hey, yeah, oh, this, that's what that was. That was this camera. So, five five ten stuff. Uh, this is. RBT stuff that uh, prototypes that I'm never supposed to show off. Uh, the splinter, the good old splinter. Yep. Classic. Uh, my other 510 stuff. Here, yeah, this this is, there we go. These are the two that, that are worth showing, I think. Look at that camera. Big black rubber dick. So. Oh. This, these are from Mist Vape, and you were talking yes. about Mist Vape earlier, and this is when you're speeding through everything, like fucking cocaine, espresso man. Here's more Fuck things. Off. Fuck off. <laughs> Mist, Mist Vape also made some 510, and, and I didn't know Mist Vape was, was going out on April yeah, 7th. Yeah, you go to their website, and it says April 7th is last orders because of the shipping shit. That's too bad. That's that too fucking bad. sucks because so, I was going to say that the, the ones that I think are my coolest are, are his as well. So go ahead. Yeah, this, this one right here, this one right here is, is the cool. I, I, I always wanted the Mist Vape uh, Touch or whatever, the one you showed, but I never I never picked it up. Uh, this is the Imp. Mm -hmm. and it's a really cool little 510. Uh, mm -hmm. It wasn't my favorite out of all the 510s, but this dude made, made everything here. Like he was making right. the little the little base and the thing for the coils and yep. he was melting brass and fucking pouring little things to like, you know, make the setting. And, and that's fucking red as shit. Super cool. Super cool. Super cool. Uh, very cool. I'm, I'm glad I have this stuff in my collection. Mm -hmm. And the other one of, of his, and I didn't, I didn't like this one so much. This one was called the beast. And this is actually a Dynavat Peter. Yeah. Yeah. So, this one, you put your, your Dynavap in here and it's a 510 thing and it has like canthal coils or whatever. So you heat, heat it up with your 510 until you hear the click and then you, and you vape. And then your first instinct is to, you know, it's like, oh, I'll just heat it up while I'm hitting it. And then you, you taste what the asshole of AIDS would taste like because it tastes like the asshole of AIDS. It, it's such a terrible taste from whatever is inside of this thing. And also this thing. Well, that's because you were hitting it because while it was in there then. Well, yeah, hitting it while it was on, which you're not supposed to do apparently. Yeah. You, you had it in the, in the thing and hitting it at the same time. Yeah. Yeah. Don't do that. Yeah. I wouldn't do that. Yeah. But that was, that was my first instinct because I've seen videos of people doing it on Instagram for one. Uh, and also because if it's a conduction heater and I'm hitting it, it would be natural. Like why not? 
I mean, yeah, that, I do. I tried it with induction heaters, and I still do it with induction heaters. Okay, right on. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I can see that because I've done that with my induction heater as well. But it's not my first instinct. It's something that I do way down the road when I'm just fucking around. Um, but I actually, I have one of those too, and I liked it. I thought it was pretty cool. But I didn't really pay attention to how well it heated or evenly. I didn't. I didn't use it enough to really know. Maybe, maybe you used it more than I did. Yeah, mine makes a little noise too. What the fuck? Uh -huh. That's weird to me. That's weird to me. But artisan stuff, I try not to be a harsh critic, but sometimes, sometimes, like, I just, I just, like, things are like a thorn in my side. Yeah. You know, like, I, I try not to be a harsh critic on artisan stuff, but sometimes there's like little things where it's my, it's, it's my gotcha point. No, I hear you, man. I hear you. Let me so, show you my uh, let me show you my five tens. Yeah. Um, and uh, what'd you say the names of these were again? Because I don't remember. You told me earlier uh, tonight before we got going here. That's exactly why I left those off. I'm so glad you picked up on it naturally. Those uh, are the Dreamwood Glow. It's the Glow. So so the, the there's glow. the RBC 14 and the RBC 18, handmade in Germany. That's right. Thank you. These are pretty dope. Um, this one, that's the bowl right there. And then uh, you got a big ass fucking cavity for it. I suppose. A big ass fucking. This one's smaller. In this case, you don't pack the stem. The stem is just a, a lid that goes over the bowl. And um, I thought these were both gorgeous. Uh, when I tried to finish a bowl, for sure, uh, they got a little hot. So mm -hmm. I thought both these really suffered from the same thing most of these these vapes suffer from is how do you cool a vapor? Yeah, we can heat this shit up shit up real hot and get that herb hot and get that vapor coming and it's hot, but cooling it hasn't happened much. Um, these next things I'm going to show you were some pretty good solutions. Are they Dreamwoods? Uh, Are they Dreamwoods? Are they Dreamwoods? Yeah, the first one is the as you said earlier the dimpled stem that I've got on my Splinter Z which is basically the Zion heater on top of this thing goes pretty well with this DNA heater too, but I haven't, I haven't tried it or made it the, the, the settings. I just, uh, I just have it on there cause it looks good. I'll have to figure that out. But uh, yeah, the two you're talking about, uh, this first one here, um, that little bad boy, that, is that the imp cognito? It's not, it's, it's my bigger of the two. Yeah. That's, that's from the imp. And, uh, 14 millimeter glass, itty bitty bulb to pack there. Again, plenty of room in there. And then yeah, these balls, nice balls thing. did pretty well. But the one that's really cool is this itty bitty. I don't know if it's an incognito or what the fuck it is, but I have it on one of my smallest box mods. So this is technically my smallest box mod solution for running around with some cooling. It still isn't the greatest of cooling, but it was pretty, pretty good. Um, got a little, little bowl right there. Got uh, six beads, wooden mouthpiece, and uh, you know your typical coil heater inside. And uh, yeah, he made some cool shit. And it, like you said, it was all handmade. It was all small batches. Um, not many people know about them. <clears throat> well, on this one here, if I can unscrew it, I'll show you. <laughs> this is a dope thing, because it is going to come off. What da da. Uh, when you take this bad boy off, he's got a his own little, like you said, he, he makes all these wooden parts and gets them in there. This, I thought this was going to come down a little bit. I guess I've got a different one that has a washer in it. Oh, yeah, it's the other one right here. This one has the the, the heat sink washer that he made. So instead of a, a set of a shiny metal one, you've got one that kind of goes with. I thought that was pretty cool. Um but yeah, you're right, man. All a little small. I mean, look how small that is, dude. That's that's a pretty cool little maneuver. Um, again, still a little hot, but but as good or better than most. So uh, I really I really dug that. Um, that was it for my five tens. The last thing I wanted to show off for my Dan Dan Morrison, since you got me over here, I might as well show those off. <clears throat> this is the Nomad, and. Uh, Dan just does amazing work. Every bit of it's handmade. Every single bit I'll show you. Um, 
kill little button that he that he made there for the for the single button. Um, this is an after market stem that I got that was made for it. I forget who did this. Oh, I think it was Mist Vape. Actually, Mist Vape made these, and I snagged one. I didn't care what he wanted for it, and I, I got one or two of these. And I actually got two. One of them doesn't fit. This one fits fits real well. But that does a real good job of cooling because, again, we had a hard time cooling this vapor. And even with this, it's a little bit warm. Um, but anyhow, uh, then he's got – this is part of the whole contact system here. <clears throat> this sleeve comes off. And then this is – he makes this sleeve. There's the wooden bottom. He, he hand folds – all of the paper and if there's, I mean, it's just amazing what he does. And then he's, he's hand paints this. This is all handmade. Those screws, he hand makes the screws. Like he actually gets a piece of raw metal and puts it on a CNC, itty bitty ass fucking turny thing. I don't know. And so you can watch him put the threads in and put that. It's just crazy what he does. Anyhow, then that's where the battery goes. And then this is one of two heaters. And again, he hand makes the heaters. He gets the metal. I'm sure he crimps the fucking metal. Um, twists it all around, gets it all in there, makes the heater. The other heater that he has, um, I think the gaps are a little a little more pronounced, a little bigger gaps. And uh, one of them's the low temp and one's the high temp. I forget which, but it's counterintuitive to me. So this is probably the low temp heater, even though it looks like a high temp one. But he makes, he makes all this shit. Um, the other heater's somewhere up on the wall. This makes contact just like that. When the battery goes in, it makes it like that. And then, um, yeah, back back to. Uh, right now, um, I had at some point, uh, I had a sticky button. So I went through the cleaning method that he has to go in and fix it. And I fucked it up worse. So now when I use it, I've got some bad contacts in there. When I tested it earlier today, the first hits were really good and tasty. And then I, and then I, and then I got a cherry in it after that wrote straight to too hot. So I know I still need to go in there and clean it better. And that was all my fault. So I can't really get to use it much, which bums me out. Cause it, it really does. I mean, it, it's an on-demand manual convection. If you want to, if you want to get to know it, it'll Jedi your ass up. It's dope. It's beautiful. And then the other one I have here, um, I usually just get a couple pictures out. I don't really actually show it up this close but um, it's worth it. Um, this is the Oaken that he made. He made four of these that were beta models. And I guess he numbered this one two of four, but it were four of us that were beta testing them. And uh, they came in a box like this. He handmade the box, you know, and again, handmade it by wrapping the paper, I believe, and then painting and scuffing and came up with this little logo and that is one that i added but then he, he he made i think he made that little drill there so we could drill into the coals send us a huge bag of coals but anyhow the actual vape itself over here is uh bamboo and um then he's got this right here which holds the herb and again he just he hand makes all this stuff even like getting it to the to the polish and the gnarly that he wants to make it look but you can see how it holds the coal here And uh, the way it works is um, it comes out. And the the production ones, and I say production, I think he made no more than 50 or 100 of them. Uh, but the, the ones after the betas, the, the, the screens were done differently, and they actually, I, I think they stay on and stuff. But anyhow, uh, that's where the herb goes in there. And there's a screen in there as well on the other, on the other end. You can kind of see the screen going. So you pop your herb in there. You take this and cap it with the screen. So now the herb is nice and in there, not going anywhere. Your coal, you will have hand drilled these already yourself with that drill in there that I showed you. And actually I had gotten a bit and was using that to get better at it. So that's a pretty good, we, we were messing around with all different configurations and we were testing it, you know, bigger holes, smaller holes, how many, what, what shape. And <clears throat> the, the, just the standard four ended up being pretty good, but it took us a while to land on that. So anyhow, you um, you torch that sucker and uh, puff it a couple times to uh, to get it lit, lit and start the ember going. And then once it's lit, you, you just kind of you're done with the torch. And then it's a little counterintuitive in that when you go to hit it, um, the slower you go, the cooler the hit. 
because as you pull on it harder, it just like a cigarette or a joint goes and starts to really get hot and 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 and, and burn more. So if you hit it hard, um, it, it was really start cooking, and you had to really find your nice little draw speed. Otherwise, you can get too hot. So it, it was it was counterintuitive for most of us, and once we got used to it, it was pretty cool. So the coal just sits right on the edge there. See how it's coming out a little bit. These things truly hold it in place right up flat against. So you had to pay attention to the holes, where it lined up, and then you got your, you would just heat it till it was hot and then it was just a matter of draw speed. And if it went out, you'd kind of heat it again and then get going back to it. And, um, you know, the vapor itself, I'd say, you know, uh, um, uh, for the most part was average. I mean, it was just a different experience, a unique experience. And it was more the ritual and the fact that I'd never seen anything like this and never have since. Um, but uh, but no, I, I suppose you could even get good and, and even better at it and, and, and get to where it was even, you know, an above average experience. But it was totally different, totally unique. And um, this piece right here is uh, easily one of my top five probably uh, prized vapes in my collection, even though I rarely use it rarely use it it's just uh unique incredibly unique i love it <clears throat> thanks yeah man if there is going to be a vape that i was going to be going to steal from you it'd be that one <laughs> yeah no doubt this thing's what dope fuck trying to take over my side motherfucker what the fuck taking that over my <laughs> no for real though that that's that's a vape that is is on my list i know i know i can't get one made anymore, but <clears throat> I, if I were ever able to acquire one, it's a must. I need to find the pictures, but back when he when he made them, they're on the web somewhere supposedly. He made he made two custom made. Uh, I think they were like were they for Snapo Snapo? If you're out there, was it for you? But they were for somebody way back in the day. And just the most gorgeous things that one of them was like turquoise and just incredibly ornate. And bro, I, that's a vape I still think of. Oh, I wish I could ever just see it again. <laughs> it's amazing. I want to show some more of uh, Dan yes. Morrison's. These are the Nomad 2s. And mine's mine's on its way or finishing up or whatever. But uh, here's You're what they going to love that. Look like. So they've, they've kind of strayed away from the paper tubes. Like before, all of them had a, a customized exterior paper tube. And now they're all all wood. Uh, there's also a new heater. And Amazing. Yeah. Dude, I can't wait to see what you get. And, and, and the dude is amazing, too. Like, he's... The story, who he is, where he does the stuff, uh, his skill, the way he documents, and and uh, even even just the the natural way he goes about his art and his life. Uh, he's he's a really neat person and and uh, and fun to talk to and get to know and uh, fun to session with. Man, he's cool shit. Right, right. Goes out and and fetches the little lichens or whatever that he uses in the. I want that button. I wanted that button. <laughs> Oh, you didn't get that button? No, I told him your choice on everything. And but the only thing I really wanted was 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 the lichen button and our lichen or whatever it is. And I should I should have said that. So are you getting that button? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna yeah. want yours. <laughs> it's funny, it's, it was the only thing that that I I chose on mine. Like I, I couldn't decide. Jerry, gotcha. like I, when when he sent the, the all the options, like here's all the woods and here's all the parts that you get to customize. It was like, holy shit, there's too many. And, and I was going through the galleries that he was like, here's what, what the, they would look like in this and this and this. And, and I'm like, they all look so amazing. So I, I basically just handed the, the lists and the pictures over to my wife mm -hmm. and said, I'm, I'm getting one of these. Can you, just take over, take over design control. And she did, did the whole list and then she brought it to me and she's like, how, how's this? And I'm like, that sounds perfect. But, but can I change the, the button to this? Because I know he goes out and like hand chooses each one. Yeah. You know, like hard, like I, I, I'll pay that extra 
thirty bucks or sixty bucks or whatever whatever it was for that little add on. Like, How I much never, was it? Do you know? I don't recall exactly. I think it was like thirty bucks or forty bucks. Something. Worth it. Worth it. Totally. Does he have a picture of the button on the site that you could show tonight? I mean, do you have that up still? I wonder if he's got one of those just so you could easily find because those it's just such the coolest shit ever, man. He goes out and he he stamps it out, and brings it back, and does something to it, and then encapsulates it and makes a button out of it. It's amazing. I mean, here's here's the the other woods and other other buttons for the Nomad twos. So yeah, that's one like I've got. What? That button oh. there is like mine. Okay, and then this one. That's it. Zoom in on that. That's if you can. There you go. Oh yes. You gonna go up? Come on down. You're not gonna go up. What the fuck? We're almost there, man. Are oh, you gonna do that thing to me? Oh man. Look at that. Oh yeah. If you can get in on that, that's dope. That's the kind of thing you want to put on a fucking microscope, man. Right. And it's your fucking button. Button. So yeah, here's the different. Crazy. Crazy. I think this is the wood that I chose. No, no, it's that's no. cherry. I'm pretty sure I chose pear. It's been it's been a while. I think this Ooh, is pear. That's pretty. I think this is the one that I chose. That's pretty. Amazing. Yeah, with the legend button. I wish no. I could. <clears throat> but yeah. Nice stuff. Nice. Ooh. Oh, shit. Look at that. Whew. Damn, Dan. That's sweet. And now, now that I see the purple heart, I kind of like the purple heart. I don't think I did. Oh, man. That shit stands out. The pair purple heart combo is pretty fucking nice. Is that what? Oh. It's not, that's not what I chose. I'm pretty sure. Oh. I don't remember what I chose anymore. Right. <laughs> like, let me pick my mouth back up. Damn. <laughs> Motherfucker, Dan. Those are beautiful, dude. Way to go. Yeah, his shit. Oh, man. shit. I missed one. I missed a really nice one. Oops. Whew, look at that. The black wood. Padawak. Look at that. Canary wood. Oh. Padawak. 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 35 more images. I don't know if I can take it. Oh, my God. That shit. The way it fucking oh. listens to. What's that shit underneath it? Pink ivory. Dope. Oh man! Now that I know, I want I want to reorder mine. Now that I know more about woods, that's hilarious. Oh, look at that! You ever look at a menu and say, "Okay, that's what's going on here?" I mean, uh... Oh man! That's Ooh, look at that! The olive, motherfucker! Oh, with that cherry. Oh. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> the purple just does it on everything, uh, man. Oh, look at that. Yeah, that walnut is nuts. Mm -mm. Oh, look at that, man. That walnut is filthy. <laughs> filthy. Damn. Mm -hmm. I'm see it. Was there one with the purple heart? With the walnut uh, purple? They're all fucking dope with that shit, man. Ooh, wow. Damn. Ooh. Ooh. Damn. Ooh. Uh -huh. <laughs> I wonder if he does oh, it. What the damn. fuck? Oh. Figured circassian walnut. Is that what that is? Circa circassian walnut. Damn. I want to see that word purple. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Pink ivory going. Damn, That's nice that. with the with the black wood, the African black that wood. That is real dope. Uh, oh man, walnut. Beauty. Okay, that's nice too. 
and Boy in the Barrel. Oh, Jared. Damn. The Red <clears throat> and Boy in the Barrel. That's it. I've had enough. I've had enough of the the Nomad 2 porn. I'm, 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 Motherfuckers. I'm, Damn, I'm, that was beautiful. Well, All right, Jerry. we hit everything I wagged out. You hit it, everything and you whacked off? What? <laughs> I love the things you hear, man. <laughs> at some point, at some point along the lines, you were talking about some Dreamwood stuff, and I wanted to, to add in my Dreamwood stuff that way and make a nice little collection of, of us talking about our vapes. But I missed, missed my opportunity to do that with these two Dreamwoods. Was I uh, coke heading out? Yeah, you were. Uh, well, this luckily, is, we got editing skills, so carry on. Like I just went off and showed my little whatever they were. <laughs> Good point on those Dreamwood glows, Jerry. Mm. And my Dreamwood uh, DLX Pro is good for water bongs. It uses butane, unlike your 510 vapes. And this little guy right here also uses butane. It's a uh, Dreamwood squeaky wood punch. Or a Dobby? Dobby. Or, Dobby, uh, I think, right? Something's a Dobby. I don't, I don't think it's a Dobby. There's a different one that's a Dobby. I'm pretty sure this is the punch. Um, but the editor will make that work perfectly. So that's right. it's a little, little butane vape. Artisan made in Germany, along with those 510 vapes. He's got a few different models. The Dreamwood. Really nice stuff. Really nice stuff. Artisan vapes from Dreamwood. Booyah kasha. I owe a dab. Cut. Yeah, where are we at for uh, likes now? 221 minus 3. Okay, we owe, we, owe, we owe a dab, so we can finish off with a dab. I don't think anyone who buys a Nomad would sell it unless they found themselves regretting it financially. I'm not, yeah, like... You know what I mean? I, I, can't, I can't think of a price that I would sell it for. I'm just somebody. There was a comment in the chat like Nomad seems like something to try and and then buy secondhand, but I don't, I don't like. I don't think secondhand is going to exist unless I, I may have seen one, maybe. And I'm talking since the very first Nomad ever. Like nobody, yeah, nobody sells those. I've, I've heard of one Nomad one for sale, and apparently it smelled like pee or something. It smelled like some animal had peed on it. Some motherfucker's yeah. dog got to it. Yeah. That's uh that's a shame, but uh, maybe it's urban. no. It, it might be a vape you try, and if it's not your style, you put it on your shelf for display, and then uh, you break out every now and then as a special occasion vape, just because it's still fun to use. But you may find that um, you master the technique, and and then if you do, then absolutely use it all the time. My intention when I got this was to beat the shit out of it. Uh, because that's what his his desire was. He wanted to be used a lot, and he he would love nothing more than to see him be worn out in people's pockets. Um, I just had, uh, like I said, I had that problem with the button, and never got to where I could just have it be what I threw in my pocket. But every every time I thought I got it going, I was like, "This is going to be the time." So I need to get there. I'm not falling for the freeze frame. I'm not. I'm not falling for it, dude. What? Yeah, I, I know. You're freeze framing me. Oh no, I'm not. I'm looking for my dabs, man. <laughs> for a dab, you're right. Okay, dab it up. Well, because we we owe we owe the two hundred dab. We owe the two hundred dab. Let's do it. I'm all about it. I'll make this a nice dab. Are you dabbing remember. CBD? No, I'm dabbing sativas, man. <laughs> all, right. all right. All night long, I dabbed CBD yesterday. Yeah, yesterday, because I did it on the uh, POTV stream. But I know, I know I've done it before, so it's not a crazy thing to ask. What? Am I dabbing CBD? Oh. But I am doing sativas, and this is going to be my, my biggest one. Even though why, it's a sativa. I'm ending my night with a big fat sativa. Maybe it'll be enough to knock me out. Mostly because that was convenient. It was over there on the side. It's own little piece. That's a pretty slab too. 
It's a nice looking slab. How's it going in the chat? You guys loading up? Haley, you loading up? Dinkle, what's up? Emily. Come on, Choo Choo. Load them up. What are you dabbing tonight, Choo Choo? Iggy. Trigger happy, Anthony. Come on, Nate. Yeah, we're going to all be zombie in a little bit here, man. Let's get this 200 dab going. Troy, you loaded? You ready? Yeah, man. You guys ready in the chat? Yeah, let's do this thing. Troy's excited, man. This is his favorite yeah. time of the week. Favorite time of the week. Five dabs on Friday night. Yeah. After a week of no dabs. Right? Yeah. So I'm talking about. All right, you guys ready? You ready? Let's do it. Let me actually. A little bit of water. That's a good idea. I should open my water. I've, I got a new favorite water, Jerry. Topo Chico, if you want to sponsor the show. Is that those bottled water or is it funky water? What do you mean? Twist of grapefruit, carbonated mineral water. Oh, cool. Grapefruit, uh, soda water, but mineral water. It's so good. I was actually looking for the lime. So I was drinking this in the 420 Vapes on Discord in the, in the Discord session. Somebody's like, oh, uh, that's so, so good. And I think it was carrots actually pointed out that they have a lime. So I went to the grocery store and I looked and I noticed that some of the boxes had a little pink th thing on the side. And they were the grapefruit ones, but no lime. I didn't find any lime. But I found grapefruit. Sorry about that, bro. I, and I'm going to open this if I can find some scissors. Where are my scissors? Hey, you gonna open it with scissors? Don't you have a bottle opener? I don't have a bottle opener, and apparently I don't have scissors either. No. Well, then start looking for a bottle opener. <laughs> if you don't have either one, get the right tool for the job. Why are you so judgy, Jerry? Uh, is that judgy? I don't know. You're like, what's wrong with using scissors? You might hurt yourself. Yeah, stab myself in the face. Okay, here we go. We're about to find out what's wrong with scissors. Give it a shot, Troy. Show it's us what's the, wrong with scissors. I don't know if, if these scissors will even work. This is what's going to get us kicked off YouTube, motherfucker. It's not the dab. It's you poking your eye out. <laughs> these scissors don't even work for, for doing what I want to do. So, chillax. Okay, blow your nose then. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I got it. I guess I'm not going to get my own jokes right. I've been I've been opening this. Uh, These guys want you to bang it off the edge of your desk. I don't know how to do that. I'm, I don't Always got to start somewhere, right? <clears throat> Wait a minute, you're not going to practice like that, are you? What? No, I'm just looking for my scissors. Oh, are we no pants Friday. Is it no pants Friday? Is that a thing? You tell me. You're the one apparently getting up, not being. Oh, ooh. thought we we're gonna get a little sneak, like oop underneath. It almost looked like ooh. Let's look under the monitor. Is he in his undies? <laughs> what the fuck did you do? Oh, different scissors, right? Because you know these are Durish ears. Those work, right? All I'm doing is is twisting them to pry the outside of the cap. Gotcha. Open, so it's like loose. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like I'm not, I'm not being a dipshit and like trying to lift off. Yeah, but eventually it will go flying just because of the. Is that how it comes off? It pops. Yeah, if, if I don't get in there and do it manually. You don't get. Oh shit! Damn, nice. Was that mostly pressure? It was actually me trying to pry under the next spot to to open it up. So it was just a little bit of upward pressure just made it pop off. All right. Nice. Cheers. I'm going to take a drink before we dab. Cheers. Mm. Nice and no longer cold, but still delicious. I was not drinking much tonight, but I just finished that whole thing off. So, bathroom here, I come. 
You ready to dab this fucker? Uh, yeah, I got it loaded. I got my carb cap on. You got a chat full of buddies ready to go too, right, Trigger? Is everyone dabbing with us in the chat? Hell yeah, right, Estelle? Let's go. Lux, you coming? Yeah, they're ready. They're loading up. Carrots is ready. We're all going. Carrots is good. Everyone's good. <clears throat> Let's roll this. All right. Ready? And we're we're good. We can end the show after this. We we won't be able to get two hundred and sixty nine dads or two hundred and sixty nine likes. You guys hurry the fuck up. We'll do it. You got to get that two sixty nine before we. Excuse me. Sign off. I'm burping already. Ah. <sighs> Dabbing Friday. Hey. <coughs> hey. It's good. Remember doing that? Natos. As a kid, fucking around with that kind of shit, man. Listening to shit backwards on your records. Yeah. Of all the shit you did, you never fucked around like that. Ooh. I said, hey. dad, I work. Did you hit I, it? I think I so. Know. You didn't give me the warning I need. I didn't look. I'm over here in my own world. I'm on the Jerry side of this thing. <laughs> Luckily, with the format of our show, we'll probably have some dabs to do again next week. Unless nobody likes it. Well, we, we, we always start with one. Okay, so at least man. you should have at least one chance next week. Always going to get one. And if we get some likes next week, you can... You can see if I make it in the in the dab can. The dab it's not a can technically, it's a kettle. A Q tip kettle. Yeah. The barbecue tip. No. There you go. No, it doesn't work. Mm. All right, Jerry. Have a good Friday. What? Happy Friday. Yeah, brother. Oh, it's Good Friday, isn't it? Yeah, man. Happy Passover. See you in the 420 of Ape Zone Discord. Thank you, Jesus. Indeed. The dab Jesus. Space Jesus. Oh, my goodness. That dab. whoop de whoop -do. Hey, Jesus. Where do we end this on likes? Do we? Where are we getting? <coughs> 235. And I guess the goal is to hit two, two. I guess the goal is 269. Yeah, we're safely good to not do that. That's yeah, different. man, that that fucking work, 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 work. Damn. Let's definitely aim to sixty nine next week. Two sixty nine. Yeah, man, that would be six six dabs, right? Yeah, that's a lot. Six dabs. Six dabs is uh, that means now, bro, if you pack a mighty bowl. You ready to go walk a dog? We got you ready for dog walking time. Yeah, man. How do you, you remember that shit? Oh, uh, yeah. That was one of my favorite moments. It's <laughs> uh, watching you take six dabs so you can walk a dog with a mighty. I love it, man. Sometimes getting really, really high and, and going outside doesn't result in good times. The other yeah. day, I almost accidentally sprayed my neighbor with the hose. Oh, that would have been interesting. Yeah, that would have been fucking really interesting. I was spraying off the 
parts for my, my grow stuff. And I had like mail in my hand and, and in one hand and I was like spraying stuff in the other. And he came over and handed me mail that was in his mailbox. That was mine. And in my, I was stoned and what? I, I, at first, I, no, at first I stopped, I stopped spraying and then I was moving things around and it, it, while moving things around, I, I sprayed the hose again and it was pointed to almost directly at him. Like it was, it, it, another probably 18 inches and it would have probably like hit him in the face. Like Did it go right like, by his head. Yeah, pretty much. Like it, he had to get a little bit of wet. Like he probably got a little bit of mist, <laughs> but yeah, he, he was, hey, he was like, it. it's like, whoa, <laughs> yeah, you know, it was close. It was close. That's awesome. You got to be high for that. That's well, the kind I'm, of thing you do when you're fucked up. I love it. I'm just an awkward person anyway, like socially awkward. Going outside, shit like that. Haven't you noticed this about me at, at Champs and the parties that we go to? Uh, yeah, it's just, I, it's it's more in your head than in your presence. Okay. Because okay. I, don't, I don't see it. If you point it out and I look for it, I can, I can in, infer it. But yeah, it doesn't, it doesn't, your, your presence doesn't scream that. Okay, good. Thank you. Appreciate that. Yeah. You're, you're, yeah. I would never, I would never know that had you not told me ever. Why is there so 172 people here? We said we're, we're ending it. What the hell? Oh, uh, well, is that it? That's it. You See you next week, man. Jerry. Yeah, brother. Thanks for hanging, man. It's, I always like starting my weekend with you. Yeah, you, you know, do you remember what we're talking about next week? Not me either. But follow us on Instagram, YouTube, <laughs> subscribe, check out our website, leave comments. Pick a vape. <laughs> <laughs>